Thank you all for tuning back in to your favorite channel, PBK9's giving it to you the way I always do, fair and unbiased. Some going to like it, some ain't. Man, y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit it yet. Shout out to all my brothers and sisters in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button before you get up out of here. You know, don't forget to hit that like button. You know, um, this is a special show right now. You know, it ain't going to be too long tonight. Not at least, not sell eight hours, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get it in. You know, this is a special show because the show was canceled. You know what I'm saying? It was canceled. And, uh, you know, I can't ask back in the days for my Bulldogs to give me one more scratch. You know what I'm saying? If I can't get out here and give it one more scratch, my damn self. I ain't, you know, um, it just, you know, I was going to come back with something this weekend or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to my brothers tonight. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm going to jump down in the chat real quick. Salute to all my brothers. Shout out to my fam, Neff, in the building. Yes, sir, Neff, you bulldogs. What, what it is, my brother? Vernon, Vernon Stones. We got a new Vernon in the building. Vernon Stones. Shout out to my brother, Vernon Star, 6143. Yes, sir, Barry Raymond. Yes, sir. Shout out to all my brothers. Jay's Moonlight, K Walk. Honey, no salt. What it is, my brother? What it is? James Smith, Fat Forum Ray. I see you, fam. I see you. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. We're going to get this thing started up. Uh, like I said, man, you know, the show was canceled tonight. I ain't even talked to none of my folk tonight. You know, that's why brother Jay ain't up here tonight with me. You know, um, I haven't talked to any of my brothers. You know, um, I wasn't planning on doing anything, but, you know, I had to give my brother something, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to give brother something. So we're going to start this thing off tonight, man. We're going to start this thing off tonight talking about staying ready. You know what I'm saying? And in shape, you know, year round. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, if, you, if you're in shape, you know, and ready year round, man, you know, back in them days, you know, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of things, too. We're going to hit it on a whole bunch of different topics because I'm going to talk about um, Dexter. I'm going to talk about Akuma. I'm going to talk about uh, one of the main factors, what I think was in the champion fatty and the lock and load dog, what Brother Going Hard was talking about that they went into back in the days. I'm going to talk about one of the main factors in that dog as well. You know, but, you know, first I'm talking about staying ready is keeping your dogs, um, you know, pretty much, pretty much in good shape, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't be, like I said before, leaving these dogs on the chain back and I'm speaking in past tense, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking in past tense. We can't be leaving these dogs on the chain in general and want them to do any kind of activities. You know what I'm saying? You can't, if you expect your dogs to do stuff, just like you go out there and do activities and exercises, you got to break them in, wing them in the things. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, like I told you all on my, my Patreon that I'm about to be doing, I'm going to do an eight-week keep with a pre-keep involved with it. You know, and my keep means something means something legal. It don't mean nothing illegal for the ones that listen and might think, you know, a keep mean illegal. 2023 keep to us mean legal stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put that keep thing together. You know, um, we're talking the pre-keep. We're talking making sure the weight right, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make And, and knowing where to find the weight, knowing when they're too dried out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brother Dickie Foster in the building, Liquid Lucky. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to all my brothers, man. We're gonna try to keep this thing going, man. Um, or get this thing started, rather. Get this thing started, you know. Yes, sir. Eagle fan in the building. Lewis Cypher, salute to you, my brother. Salute to you. Yes, sir. I'm about to get up out the chat real quick, man. Cause we about to talk about these dogs real quick. I'll get back with y'all brothers in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I will say, man, to all the Bulldogs, you know, because you got a lot of Bulldogs, a lot of people ain't heard of. And, and some people use that against you. But that's the reason a lot of Bulldogs made it to the day today. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't heard of them at certain times. Because if a lot of y'all brothers would have heard of them, they probably wouldn't have made it as long as they did. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good that some people don't hear about people, you know, until, you know, certain times. Because everybody, truthfully, everybody ain't meant to be bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, everybody, I mean, it's, anybody can have a dog if they want it, you know. But back in them days, everybody wasn't meant to be bulldogs. It wasn't, it wasn't built in everybody, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't meant for everybody, you know. Um, I want to know this, man. Do do pre-potent dogs 
produce better than non-prepotent dogs? See, we know prepotent dogs produce exactly like themselves. But I want to know, does a non-prepotent dog produce good dogs? Has anybody got better dogs from a non-prepotent dog than a prepotent? Because, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering because just because a dog prepotent don't necessarily mean he's a better producer dog. It just means he's producing like himself. He can be prepotent and be a damn cur. You know, producing more curves. The word prepotent just means he's producing like himself again, right? I, I would think, you know, so I'm just wondering... Cause a brother will throw that in, throw that up out there at you saying this dog a prepotent breeder or this dog prepotent, and you know the dog himself ain't really worth a damn. You know what I'm saying? Hunt down kennel salute to you, my brother. Glad you came in tonight, man. Glad you came in tonight. I'm gonna see how long I can rock with you, man. Like I was telling the brothers, I wasn't gonna do nothing tonight, man. Um, no, but I just had to come up here and empty out the lungs a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Show y'all boys a few pictures. Talk about a few dogs, you know. Talk about a few dogs. Talking about the prepotent dogs, you know, because I'm gonna talk about the Corolla stuff. Um, do y'all think Corolla is prepotent? Because you know, black dogs automatically gonna take over the uh, program once you breed black dogs. See, I think it's kind of harder to tell the prepotency of a black dog than it is of any other color dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that black is so much of a dominant color, you know that you will think your dog looking looking like the dog when it really ain't. It's just the black took over. You know what I'm saying? Just the black took over. That's just if y'all y'all brothers in the chat know anything, you no, know, drop down in the in the um in the comments, you know. Drop down in the comments. Read some of them chats, man. Shout out the underdog in the building. Yes sir. Other dogs say if that dog has working stocks behind it, a cold dog is better than a cur. Totally agree with you that with that underdog. I totally agree with you with that shit. I take a cold one any day off a good working stock. Salute the brother Ben Brockton with the five dollar donation to the channel, man. Salute to your brother Ben Brock coming through like always. Salute the brother Ed Volatin in the building. Brother Ed, I was wondering where you was at, man. I ain't see you. I don't know if I seen you on the last video, but you might be in there. You know, I keep I keep track with my folk, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, salute to you, brother Ben. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about some dogs, man. Salute to my brother J-Bo out there somewhere, man. Hope you're having a good night tonight, my brother. I'll speak to you soon. Salute to my fam, City Boy Kennels. Salute to all the Bulldoggers, like I always say, man, because I forgot and left them out at the beginning from the north to the south to the east to the west, all the way across the world. All my folk in the UK, salute to you, salute to you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk a little bit of Bulldogs tonight. Let me see. Let me get in my pictures. You know what I'm saying? Let me get in my pictures, see what I can pull up for y'all boys. All right. Now, one thing, you know, now, I, I will say, man, that Corolla dog is a damn good-looking dog. You know what I'm saying? He a damn good-looking dog. But the thing I got to say about them dogs, and I don't never want to hate against Corolla, against Ship, against Puma, against all these new-age dogs. You know, I don't want to hate on these dogs, but I got to keep it real. See, Yellow, Yellow, Jeep, Eli, Red Boy, Bolio, all these dogs – like I said before, have have you no know, test of time. These dogs offspring have test of time. These dogs grandkids have test of time. These dogs great grandkids have test of time. That's all I'm saying. Ship them great dogs. They producing great dogs, but they grandkids, they kids, all that stuff haven't stood the test of time yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Puma, kids, are they producing great kids? Are his kids' kids producing great kids? Are his kids' kids producing great kids? Because we know Jeep, Yellow, Eli, Bolio, and all them kids are producing, you know? So that's why we can't, that's why I say we got to have two rum lists. You got to have the, the old school one and maybe the new model one, you know what I'm saying? Because mixing up mixing up them, them, young, them new dogs ain't really fair to the old ones. 
and, and you know, some of these new dogs may be better than some of the old dogs. But just to keep things straight and just to, you know, you just give everybody their own place. You know what I'm saying? Give everybody their own place. If if Karada and, and, and Ship and all them, the head of the Rumless, then they'll make it with the new dogs. They wouldn't have no problem making it with Puma and all them other dogs. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, and matter of fact, they'll make it to the top of the Rumless even faster without Yellow Jeep and all them other dogs in the way of them. You know what I'm saying? And then brothers can see what's what's making puppies, what's not, you know what I'm saying, what's making curves, and, you know, what's not. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's just my opinion, my brothers out there, you know what I'm saying? Just my opinion. Another shot from Bulldog Hill, Brother Maurice Crowell. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep this thing going. But uh, now when it came to uh, uh, Dexter and Akuma, Okay, now there's some funny stuff going on with that, right? Okay, see, now we got Dexter is a Kuma father. Now, we don't got no winners off none of these dogs. But, you know, my brothers out there probably got great dogs off of them. They just probably ain't registered them in the uh, online pair thing. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, for brothers to be talking trash about uh, going all the time, about his, about his lines and stuff, Nobody don't got no no nothing off these dogs, and he got a couple pages worth of breedings, and the only champion coming off Dexter is Akuma. That's that's kind of odd that the only champion coming off him is the person that bred him, and that goes back to my brothers that I was telling y'all. Y'all want to jump on one one group of brothers for saying oh nobody else got champions off of them, but the going trend seems like nobody got champions except for the kennel who doing the breeding. The kennel who make the breeding, say for instance, I got J.D. Ho, champion J.D. Ho. Now, J.D. Ho's son going to be a champion. J.D. Ho's grandson going to be a champion. J.D. Ho's niece going to be a champion. That's what it's seeming like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who got the dogs are the ones who got the champions. And the ones who are doing the buying, they're the ones doing the complaining. And I ain't talking about one, one line of dogs. I'm talking about all the dogs. Garner got champions off his shit. Why the hell none of y'all got them? Big John them got champions off of their stuff. Why none of y'all ain't got them? Hulk them got champions off their stuff. Why ain't none of y'all got them? You know, and I, and, and I had a dog off of Kuma myself. Built like, a, built like a brick house. You know what I'm saying? Built like a brick house. 15 minute quitter. 15 minute quitter. But you know what? It probably would have won a nice uh a nice confirmation show. You know what I'm saying? But took him out there in the woods and he wasn't rough as he looked. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't rough as he looked. But he was a good looking dog. You know what I'm saying? But uh he just didn't make that cut. Just didn't make that cut. Brother Ben Brock say Dexter quit. I can believe that. Cause I see uh, that Dexter stuff is popular over in South Carolina. Shout out to all my brothers with that Dexter and, and stuff over. Here. I I haven't really seen a whole bunch of Akuma stuff over, here, but I've seen a lot of Dexter stuff. Um, but you no, know, can't say nothing bad about it. Just the stuff I ran through, as far as my dealings with the stuff, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh. It's just something to keep in mind, man. Brothers, you know, brothers make these champions and only champions be coming off their dogs. You know what I'm saying? The only champions be coming off their dogs. And I ain't gonna lie, Dexter and Akuma both look great as hell. Both of them dogs look good. Both of them dogs look good. Now I want to show y'all brother something. Uh, brother put me on, gave me this. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, that ain't the one I'm looking for. Damn, I done lost a couple pictures, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the dog up, though. Give me a second, though. I'm going to get down in the chat while I'm trying to find this picture. This picture's supposed to be up, though.
Naja McCullough, salute to you, salute to you. Hunt down kennels, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to throw this pitch up there real quick. I thought it was already up there, but I must be, somehow or another, it must be in down low. So I'm going to throw it up there for y'all brothers real quick. That it should be coming up there any second now. That picture right there is a Chinese brother over there in China that was running at some of that some of them game dogs. All right. If brother Fat Bill out there anyway, I wanna uh I want you to check this pitch out, man. Look at this dog right here, brother Fat Bill. Brother Fat Bill holding a yellow dog. In color, yellow and color, dog. Now, the reason why I'm showing y'all brothers this because at, at this moment, this dog isn't mine. But later on, that dog right there will be, will be mine. I didn't have any papers on that dog, but the dog was mine. You know what I'm saying? Salute the brother almighty one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what happened with that dog there? He was a real big dog. You know what I'm saying? He was a real big dog. Uh, he was supposed to be coming down off of some of that yellow stuff, but I didn't have any papers off of him. That brother that's sitting beside Fat Bill, he could tell you what he off of, directly what he off of, and, and maybe Fat Bill could, you know, maybe tell you what he off of because that was at a show one particular day, at a show a while, a long time ago. But, uh, the brother told me he was off one of the yellow dogs I had in the yard, so I, I got him. Uh, the thing about that dog, he was human aggressive, and he didn't have a lick of attitude in him. He didn't have a lick of, of, of attitude. Um, he was the type of dog that when the hog, when he, when the, when, you know, the hog grabbed hold to him, he just sat there and, and just looked like, he was like, what's going on? Somebody say he ain't started up yet or something like that or whatever, but, you know, it wasn't what I was looking for or what I was used to in that particular, what's supposed to have been strain of dogs. You know what I'm saying? And this brother just got um, Fat Bill holding the dog, taking a picture with him. Fat Bill don't have nothing to do with that dog right there. He just got him holding that picture at a dog show. But, uh, yeah, we what we did with that dog, I left him at a, a well-known dog man house. I left him. I didn't want him, and that was the last time I seen that dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened to him. Um, I won't say where I left him at. I just say I left him somewhere. You know, I left him somewhere. I'm not even sure exactly what his what his pedigree was because them boys didn't lay the papers down in my hand. You know what I'm saying? They they, they told me he was off of some of the stuff that I had in the yard, so I just went with it because he was looking like it. But like I said, this was at the show that day. That brother had him at the show. And he was about a 60-some pound dog. He was real big dog. Real big dog. But he ain't, but you know what I'm saying? Not, not a bit, not one five-cent ounce of spunk in him. You know? But uh, yeah, my man had shot me them pictures right there. So I wanted to share them with y'all brothers. Um, and like I said, man, normally I have my, my regular cast up here. My, I ain't holler at none of my brothers this week. I wasn't planning on doing no shows this week as far as the uh, live. But uh, I went ahead and jumped up here to give y'all brothers a little something, something, something. Now, we're going to get into that damn lock and load, crossroads lock and load. When y'all heard brother going hard talking about the lock and load. Was he off John John? No, he wasn't off no damn John John. This dog here, damn, this dog here for back in the days. John John, he, shit, John John, damn. I think his puppy is probably about 10 months old, somewhere around that area. That's, a, that's supposed to be a yellow dog coming off of some yellow stuff right there. Hey, Eagle fan. Now you say uh Eagle fans say he don't like real heavy dogs. Eagle fans say he don't like real heavy dogs. And one thing about this dog right here, um Eagle fan, 
This dog right here was big. He wasn't heavy. He was lean. He was long. He didn't look long. He had all the height for his length. He was a big dog. I'm not going to lie. He had to be, I'm just estimating 60. But he was a big dog. But, uh, yeah, you wouldn't, uh, um, it wouldn't have been real easy to find no hunts for him. It would have been kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. He was a real big dog. And, and, and when I seen how big it was and he just ain't had no spunk to him, it just, you know, it just made me damn turn my, turn my, uh, head. But yeah, we're going to talk about that, uh, lock and load stuff that, uh, brother going hard was talking about. Make sure I got my pedigrees up here. Huh? All right. Now, lock and load was off this female right here and triple A. Only difference between lock and load and Sambo Daddy is that lock and load came out triple A, Sambo Daddy came off champion fatty. All right. See, now we, we always talking about the female, the female in this particular situation, this female is better than all the studs that we're talking about. Lock and low, fatty, and the dog directly off yellow. You know what I'm saying? The dog directly off yellow. And you can look at the pedigree and, and see how she's bred. And like I told y'all before, she had like the messed up legs and all that type of stuff from the inbreeding, but she threw off great dogs. And see, uh, um, we don't give the credit to the females, but I know for a fact this female right here, and anybody who know Crossroad, this female right here was the key to success when it comes to his breeding. If he would have took this female and bred it the you know different ways, he would have got a lot of great dogs. But you see all that stuff in the later on 10, 10, 15 years later, you know, after all this stuff had done, you know, happened already. At that time, he had all kind of dogs: Midnight Cowboy, Jeep, Red Boy, Red Boy Jocko, uh, Termite. You know, so he was trying to go with all different kind of strains with the dogs. And he, but really, if he would have went with this, with the uh, the Red Boy Jocko stuff, or just the Red Boy stuff, he would have been running the game. He would have been running the game. And see, uh, Lock and Load was all right, but. I got mad puppies off lock and load, and they wasn't, they was like, they was average. You know, lock and load was a, a, a better dog than he was producer. He wasn't, a, 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 you know, quite as good as a producer as he was himself. He was a great dog himself, but, but production wise, he didn't produce that good. You know, um, like I said before, Crossroad uh, made a stock wasn't as good as a lot of brothers out there made a stock. The stuff that he had bred to that peewee dog, and uh, um, I, I forgot he had a female off that stuff too, but it wasn't it wasn't making good great dogs like how a lot of y'all brothers making off y'all mayday breedings, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I had a, a bad taste in my mouth when it came to the mayday dogs because I got most of my mayday dogs from Crossroad back in the days. You know, it wasn't really no sense for me to get a mayday dog from somebody who was you know kind of lower down in the ranks when these brothers was already already at the top of the food chain you know what i'm saying so shit i was getting you know getting it from him and i wasn't really satisfied with that you know nation best say too blurry okay nation best i know next time man she coming off wcc's rocky which is coming off of uh crenshaw's jeep She got Jeep on both sides, top and bottom. Jeep, you know, it's pretty much is a pure Jeep, though. Honey Bunch three times in the third pedigree. Honey Bunch one time in the fourth pedigree. Oldest one time in the third pedigree. But that dog was the key to that crossroad stuff, man. What y'all brothers got going on for the night, man? What, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? 
Shout out to the whole chat. Don't forget to hit that like button before you get up out of here, man. And anybody that need transport, you know, don't forget Green Transport. Holla at Green's Transport on Facebook. You know, um, you should be able to get in contact with them on Facebook. Green's Transport. Getting your dogs where they need to get at from one side of the country to the other side. Taking care of your dogs and making sure your dogs ain't sick when they get there. You know what I'm saying? Making sure they're not sick, you know. So holla at Green Transport. Now, I will say this, too, you know, because um, a lot of people know Crossroad, but a lot of people didn't know Mike, Mike Caton. He was the one who really had the yellow dogs. It's like this real. Mike was Crossroad Connect. Crossroad was my connect, you know, and I dealt with Mike as well. You know, we dealt with Mike and Crossroad, but Mike was behind the scenes. He never really came out like that, but he the one that had all the yellow dogs. You know what I'm saying? He had all the yellow dogs. His dog was directly off yellow, bred back the yellow daughters and stuff like that. He didn't have all the Jeep stuff. He gave the yellow dogs to Eric, and Eric was the one going out there playing and doing this and doing that, doing this and doing that. Crossroad, I mean, you know. When I say Eric, I mean Crossroad. He was the one going and doing the playing with it. Mike was the connect, the one that had the yellow dogs. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that had everything. And and um, Mike was from around here, but uh, Eric had just moved down here. Crossroad had just moved down here. You know, and I bought plenty of dogs from Mike that was coming off of uh, Yellow Sun bred uh, Yellow Daughter, of a uh, Tance Betsy, Tance Lola, um, bunch of Tance females. And it was coming directly off Mike, dog. That was a son of yellow as well. You know, Mike died maybe about a year after Eric got out the game. Scratch line kennels, supreme excellence. Salute to you, my brother. Salute to you. Street Rossi. Yes, sir. Let's see what brother Street Rossi talking about. Hold up, man. You ever know anybody to get in the woods with a prosecutor and see what that breed can do against a hog? I ain't sure exactly what you mean, but I know back in the days, shit, everybody damn, everybody was damn in the game. State troopers, judges, lawyers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, uh, Play that game back, you no, know, back in the days. I ain't sure if that's what you was asking or not, but shit, I done seen, I done been places and different, you no know, different brothers, dog brothers' houses, and shit, it might be a state trooper roll up there and buying a dog. He ain't dressed as a state trooper, but you know he a state trooper. Might come up there and buy him a dog. You know what I'm saying? And be like, oh, that's a, uh, uh, that's a state trooper, or that's a so and so. I done seen that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, far as, you know, I mean. I, I've been hunting for as duck hunting and all other kind of stuff like that with people who lawyers and all the kind of stuff like that. But far as hog hunting, I ain't sure. Uh, prosecutor shit. I ain't never damn did no kind of damn hunting with a prosecutor. I know damn lawyers and stuff like that. Shit. It just, I guess it probably, if you, like, see, everybody probably, you might be a, a person that hunt or something like that and got family members or something that's prosecutors or something. So, you know, everybody, everybody different, man. Just me. I never been around no, none of them like that to go hunting with none of them or none of that type of stuff. Prostitute. I don't know what, hey, explain what you had meant, uh, Brother Street Rossi. Hell, I don't know what you meant, man. One one little one little mess you no know, messed up work and switch your whole sentence around. Hell. Back in my days, I would have loved to go hog hunting with a prostitute. Shit. I see that's two different words. Prosecute and prostitute. Shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay.
Oh, nah. Oppressor canary. Okay, okay, I see what you were trying to say. Ever go in the woods with a press of canary? <laughs> no, man. I, I trained one of them before, but you know, I ain't ever go in the woods with one. I, I but when I trained it, them dogs is real they, they they bluff. When I say bluff, they ain't built like pit bulls. You know, we we hard body. You know what I'm saying? We hard, we hard body. Them that the dog I had, he was about a hundred pounds, he was about 12 months, 12 months old, but they real babies, man. They real gentle. They real gentle dogs. So pit bull is like a rough, tough dog. You know what I'm saying? You let that pit bull go out in that woods, that pit gonna wrestle with that dog. Now that, that presser, that presser and all that can do it too. But uh, you know, um, it's just different breeds, man. Well, actually, I train I train a um cane corso. I train a cane corso. I ain't train a presser canary. Man, them dogs is crazy, man. I don't really too much mess with them dogs. They be killing people. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to control them dogs. You got to have them dogs on the dang on one of them um, Garmin damn electric collars. Don't go get one of them Amazon electric collars. You better get a Garmin in case they flip out back there and they have a 12-gauge shotgun on, on standby. Press the canary, press the canary flip out. Everybody, you know, you got to make sure you can lay that motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't too much deal with them motherfuckers, man. We ain't too much got we ain't too much that, that breed ain't ain't real familiar with the American public yet. It only been dealing with the American public a good 30 years. And they ain't got all the kinks out of that dog yet. <laughs> In my my opinion, they ain't got all the kinks out of it yet. To know how that dog true temperament is. You know what I'm saying? That dog do stuff people don't even oh, he's a good, good dog. They're good for people, this and that. Next thing you know, the dog done kill five people. Brother nephew Bulldog say, "Do I see the yellow dogs being the last stock ever deal with?" I'm gonna tell you like this here, brother nephew. A lot of people don't like them yellow dogs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like them. I like them just because you know I'm from the area and I like I you know, just like a brother from South Carolina being a Gamecock fan or a Clemson fan. No matter how much they lose or win, you just a Gamecock or a Clemson fan. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I will say if a brother get hold to some of that stuff and it's good, uh, you know, a great a great batch of that stuff, he, it's gonna, he gonna, you know, he gonna stick with it. You know what I'm saying? Or add it to his program. The last stock I ever did with, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, um, shit. Because I can't, I, I can't take it to back in the days. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm like them young boys say, trying to live off the old days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until them boys come up with a new rum list, shit, I'm going off the old one. And the old one say Yellow, Eli, Jeep, and all them dogs still the top of the list. So, shit, I'll be trying to tell y'all brothers to take take our pride in y'all dogs. So, until then, shit, I'm just going to have to roll with the top three dogs on the rum list like everybody else doing. Now, I ain't going to lie. I think Eli Dog, I can rock with Eli Dog because it's been some great Eli Dogs, Yellow Dogs, Jeep Dogs. Only thing about the Jeep Dogs, I used to love them. Now I'm finicky about them Jeep Dogs because I ain't seen no Jeep Dogs that impressed me like the Jeep Dogs did back in the days. I ain't talking about Sambo. I'm talking about other Jeep Dogs. I had one that was coming down off the um off the Low Country Spurs stuff. His name was Frank White. He had teeth the same size as a... um. You know them little cigarillo blunts? Now, you break one of them cigarillo blunts, swish your blunts in half. Break that in half. That's how long his, his fangs was. He stopped one and chased him up the street in the middle of the city. We was in the cut. Now, we had a little spot in the cut. You know, I was paying my damn lady to let me use her house or whatever. But the damn dog broke broke from out, jumped the damn box and broke to the front yard and went running up the damn street. And Frank White was on his ass. And that was a Jeep dog. You know what I'm saying? And them Jeep dogs back then was different than now. So I ain't really sold on the Jeep dogs now. I like the, um, and at the same time, like I say, I ain't doing the same thing like I was doing back then. So I can't really say. I just know the yellow dogs, the Eli dogs, and uh, let's see, the yellow dogs, the Eli dogs, 
the red boy dogs, the red boy dogs been holding it down. You know what I'm saying? The red boy dogs, I got to keep me some of that stuff in there, you know? But, uh, yeah, man. And I ain't going to lie, man. 2022, I just got to be truthful with you. If you, one of y'all boys come up with a dog and I like it, I'm, 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 I might have to ride with some of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, you know, going with paper fucked me up on some a breeding I did not too long ago. Now, I get up here every every day and tell y'all boys, go with the better dog, go with the better dog. Then I turn around went with the paper and got a fucking false pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Got a false pregnancy. So that's just the Lord telling me, stop preaching that shit and, and doing something else. Do what you preach. You know what I'm saying? So go with the better dog, man. I don't care what bloodline it is, what the dog look like, if it's good to you and it's what you're looking for for your stock. Because your stock might be just missing bone. Your stock might be just missing a little bit of spunk. Your stock might be missing head, head size, jaw size, teeth size. Your stock might be missing some, some might be inbred too much and just needs some health back up in there. You know what I'm saying? So everybody thing needs something different when they're looking to add something in their program. You know, you go add the same yellow stuff I add and that shit fuck your whole stock up. Because you added it for the wrong reason, and I added it for the right reason for my stock. What my stock was lacking, you added it because I added it to my stock. You seen PBK add it, so you added it. I added it because my dog was lacking. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say only add stuff to your program that your dog's lacking and your dog's need. You know, I get up here and talk all day about the midnight cowboy dogs, this and that and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Or the Jeep dogs or the Eli dogs, you know, but at the end of the day, we can never, ever, ever take that shit personal. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't been following my show, I done talk shit about every single line it is. And I done had every line it is on my yard. I done talk about hog. Now look at me. I done talk about this dog. Then look at me. You know what I'm saying? So I talk about the Midnight Cowboy. And if I see one I like, <laughs> you damn sure see it up here. Front page and center. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Different dog, man. Different lines. Brother Oak Man said, different dog, man. Different lines. You ain't, you ain't never lie about that, dog. And we got to stop trying to fit in with everybody. Be yourself, dog, man. That's what makes you you, man. That's what's going to make you that champion. That's what's going to make you that legend in the dog game by being yourself. You can't be that legend by being Maurice and, and Brother Tudor and them going hard and PBK and, 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 and um, Evolution and all them other. You got to be you, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to distinguish you from the rest. Because you got some stuff that we ain't never seen before. You know what I'm saying? You probably got dog man qualities we ain't never seen, but we, you won't unleash them because you're trying to be like Carver. You're trying to be like Tudor. So we can't see the real brother underdog. We can't see the bro the real brother hunt down. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say y'all brothers' names like that because I, you know, I know y'all boys got this. Y'all brothers got this. You know what I'm saying? You know? And salute to all my brothers in the chat. Brother Green Team popped up in the building. Supreme Exodus. I think I shot you one, but shot to you again, my brother. Now, Supreme Exodus, the only brother that I know besides my brother, Dark, Dark, Dark Society, they got the Midnight Cowboy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody, you know, see Dark Society, he probably got in his feelings. And I talk shit sometimes. But one thing about it, you know, at the end of the day, I only know two people with the Midnight Cowboy. Dark Society, and Brother Supreme Excellence. So I'll be a motherfucking hater if somebody get up here and say, yo, you know what I'm saying? What? Who got that? Who got this right here or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I know these brothers right here. I always tell brothers that ask me stuff about dogs. Yo, listen, I talk this shit on the, the channel, but this is what the real deal is, man. This is what the real deal is. You know, uh, don't, don't, like when I talk about shipping all that, if any of y'all brothers about to go get y'all something, Man, go get that shit, dog. Like I say before, I might be holding you back. If you listen to that shit I say, that might be holding you back from getting the, the, the once-in-a-lifetime dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, You know, some things we can only take with a grain of salt. And some things we got to look at as entertainment, man. You know, we can't just subject brothers to talk about these dogs in one way. We got to let these brothers with these dog channels uh, hit this shit from different angles, man. You know what I'm saying? So they can keep supplying brothers month after month, year after year with different content. 
Don't put these brothers out here from my channel to the next channel, the Triple J, the Going Hard, the, the damn, hey, uh, all the brothers. Don't put brothers in a box to where they got to talk about one thing. You know what I'm saying? Let these brothers get their nuts off so they can uh, shine and get their creativity off. You know what I'm saying? Because brothers will feel like they got to get up there and talk about this or talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Let these brothers do what they got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and another thing. You know, we was just talking about snake bites the other day. And I be down. I come outside this morning, and I got a swole face doe. You know what I'm saying? A swole face doe. Face can't even see the eyes. You know how that is. Can't see the eyes. The uh, the mother of the puppies. They know they just had the puppies not too long ago. I came out. Her face was swole. I didn't see a snake, but I'm just assuming a snake or a spider got her. One or the other. You know what I'm saying? One or the other. Um. But the funny part about it, I didn't give her no penicillin, you know. I just looked at her, paid attention to her. And by the time feed time came, you know, that shit was going down. It was it was going down, but, you know, I took her for a walk around the block. She act sick. She act different, no, like she was hurt, no nothing. I looked at her face. I didn't really see no bite marks, you know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about her whole face was swole. She had no bite marks on her and, and couldn't see her eyes. You know how your face gets swollen, you can't see the eyes? So I knew either a spider got her or a snake got her. I looked outside last night and I seen her. she was laying on the ground. Yeah, it could have been a bee sting, bro. You know, I didn't think about that because them dogs do chase them damn bees. I do see them dogs chasing them bees. I didn't think about that. You know, it could have been a bee sting. But it, it only stays swollen until, you know, till, um dinner time. And it's still kind of swole, but not like it was early today. Her eyes looking good, everything looking good. She eating, like I say, she ain't never, she ain't never showed no kind of symptoms of getting sick or no type of stuff like that. She as soon as I put the food out there, she barking, still aggravating me the same way. Gotta go out there and tell her to shut the hell up because she barking too damn much with a swole head. But no, like I say, you know, she still acting the same. So that was a good thing. I know she ain't had no venom or nothing. If it was, it was a green snake or something. But now that y'all brother say a beast thing, that that kind of kind of more logical. She probably grabbed a waltz or a bee or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna drop the link down in the chat as well, man. Any brother can get up there and shoot shots out. You know what I'm saying? Shoot their shots out. I say what they want to say as well. Let me see what Brother Green Team down here talking about, man. Let me see what Brother Green Team talking about. <laughs> Brother Green Team say, VV, get you a real boys dog and leave that yellow stuff with the 90s. Hey, I feel you on that, Brother Green Team. Now, I ain't gonna lie now. I had a couple brothers tell me about that ball stuff, but they say you gotta get the right stuff, which goes with any line. No, even the yellow stuff, you gotta get the right stuff. But the ball stuff, man, I just. I see, I hear about brothers that say they have it, but the thing a lot of lines lacking is production. See, that's that's what that yellow stuff got me spoiled with. That yellow stuff got me spoiled with that, with production wise. I could take a yellow dog and I can start a yard with a yellow curve. You know what I'm saying? If it's off the right stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, not I take that back. I take that back for my brothers. My brother's gumming down a yellow cold dog. You know what I'm saying? A cold dog off off the right stuff. You know, I can start a whole yard off two of them. Not two cones, but two dogs. Some of that ball stuff, you know, if you're not familiar with it, you got to really, really look around. Look at which one is the, the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hut down, say he a boss believer. Yes, sir. I've been hearing nothing but good stuff about the boss dogs. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been hearing nothing but good stuff about it. Um, I haven't heard, i tell you one thing, since the 90s, I haven't never heard the ball stuff was good for jumping boxes. I ain't heard the ball stuff was 45-minute dogs. I don't know that type of stuff, you know. So, you know, that ball stuff been been standing the test of time. It been standing the test of time. I got a homeboy. Shout out to my homeboy down there in Savannah. Uh, my homeboy CG down there in Savannah, he love that boy, that boy stuff, man. He love it. 
He dropped me off one one time, but he didn't give me the papers. He just told me it was some special sauce. You know, and I, I ain't like that because I didn't know exactly what it was off of, but I can respect that at the same time. You know what I'm saying? He ain't charged me nothing, and he, shit, he said it was his special sauce. So it was what it was. Green Team said if he got Red Boy Jocko, he rolling with Termite. Only thing about that Green Team, the Termite stuff, that Termite stuff is on the edge. That Termite stuff on the edge is on the edge. When I say the edge, I mean, to me, this to me now, the Termite stuff ain't proved the test of time. The Termite stuff proved the test of time in breeding. But you don't see brothers, you see brothers that got dogs directly off termite that had champions, but you don't see dogs that come off termite grandsons and grandsons that was was making brothers create their yards off them dogs. And, and I, I know a lot of brothers that got great termite dogs out there. You know what I'm saying? I see the brother Cayman that got a great termite line out there, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Brother, um, the Cayman dogs, great dogs, you know what I'm saying? And if I got to go... That termite stuff going to match good with the Red Boy Jocko stuff. But me, myself, and everybody got their opinion, Green Team, because you might be know something I don't know, my brother. Me, myself, if I got to grab one or the other and get me some Jeep, termite and Jeep, or Red Boy Jocko off the certain Red Boy Jocko, I'm going to go with the Red Boy Jocko over the termite. Mayday Dogs, I'm just getting with the Mayday Dogs modern day like y'all brothers. I wasn't no fan of Mayday Dogs back in the 90s. The ones I was running up against, they weren't they weren't top level dogs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just becoming a fan of Mayday stuff when I you know when when the game changed for me. When I was a roughneck, uh, the Mayday dogs couldn't stand the test of time with me <laughs> back in them days. And maybe I didn't have the right bread ones. You know what I'm saying? It's just something I liked about them yellow dogs. When you see a damn six month old dog. Make a damn full grown dog, and I'm talking about grand. Um, I'm talking about champion fatty little mate sister. When you see a six month old dog take a damn a year something old dog and turn it into a uh, hamburger meat, you know it just make you think something different about a dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's what them yellow dogs were doing back then. You know, you might find a dog off that yellow stuff that was directly off that yellow stuff could have been six or seven months old, <laughs> and they're gonna beat the average dog two years damn old. If it ain't coming off none of that stuff, because they're going to already have the size. They got the size, and they, the gameness was gameless like no other breed of dogs. You know what I'm saying? Not saying other dogs weren't hitting. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of dogs was. It's just we didn't go with the Mayday stuff on my side of town. You know what I'm saying? The Mayday stuff really wasn't, you know, brothers had the Red Boy stuff over there where the Red Boy brothers was at. But the Mayday stuff wasn't over here because Big John was running this area. And then Cross Road had his dog that was coming off of yellow that was Toe Jam, you know. And he had a, a dog that was coming directly off Mayday that was Pee Wee, you know. So they ran the Mayday and the yellow circuit and Big John, you know, so we ain't had a reason to go out to nobody else. Plus Mr. Claude Puckett, you know, he ran yellow dogs. You know what I'm saying? And he was still living during that time. You know, and we got other brothers that I ain't calling their names within 30 or 40 miles. They had that stuff, and it made that stuff wasn't no big name for us back then. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I always looked at the videos and the little damn, the little uh, VH, the, we call them VCR tapes with uh, Luke Kane and all them on it. You know, that shit looked the ill now. I ain't gonna lie, that shit looked the ill. But I could never get me hold, I could never get hold of one. You know, I could never get hold of one. But yeah, man. I, I wasn't no big Mayday fan. I, I like Mayday stuff now, you know. But I wasn't no big Mayday fan back in the days. What's the backstreet stop? Simba Marshall say, uh, what about old family red nose? I had one of them dogs I was explaining to the brothers about a few weeks back. But me, myself, you know, um, I think if you get that old family red stuff, you need to get it from an old family red breeder. Somebody who got that on their on yard, not just somebody who got that in their pedigree. 
Like if I got this one old family red, I ain't talking about my line that I'm creating, brother. You talking about the old stuff. If you got this one old family red dog in your pedigree, uh, you know, I would suggest you holler at somebody who 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 breeding that stock or whatever. I ain't never. I have I, the dog that I got wasn't pure old family red, you know. Um, but I never seen myself. I never seen no brother take a pure old family red dog and take it to the square. In my whole days, I never seen an old family red dog in the square. Far as winning wise, winning wise. But I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I see some hella fine looking old family red dogs. Brother SBO say champion Huckleberry, China dog on top. Some of that Manny stuff. Yeah, that shit might work, brother SBO. It might work. Voodoo Junior. I ain't gonna lie, I like I like how Voodoo look. Now I, when I look at him, I don't know nothing about Voodoo far as you know, other than what most people know. But uh when I look at him, I like him. You know what I'm saying? If I could have got something off of him, I, you know, that'd probably be something good to try out. If anybody out there damn uh running that damn uh voodoo stuff, drop down in the comments and tell a brother how that shit doing. Brother Oatman say that Boozenbark. We didn't run that Boozenbark stuff over here, bro. That shit was too far out west. It never had a chance to make it. By the time we go over there, only way you really had that Boozenbark stuff on this side, if you, if you use the type of dog, man, just like to buy dogs from all kind of dog brothers, and if you just like to have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, then you'll have the Boozenbark stuff. But that shit was way out in Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? Out there with Epidit and all them other boys and man, shit. By the time you make it out there, you got to pass a whole, you got to go through North Carolina, Tennessee, every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But, and like I say, if you go out there getting a dog, pretty much it's just for looks and not for real show because you're going to pass the show going way out there. I, I had a brother, far as I ever went out west to buy a dog was Tennessee back in them days. Tennessee was the far as I ever went out west to actually buy it. We bought a bolio dog. My homeboy bought a bolio dog. And they was about down 25 pounds. Hunt Down said he ain't had no luck with no Mayday dogs. Underdog say I had a mid a voodoo dog cross with midnight cowboy <laughs> almost killed me. I ain't mean to laugh, underdog, but you mean he was a man biter? He turned on you. Did he turn he, like he turned on you for no apparent reason? Because if he did, let me know, bro. Because I, I keep information like that because I don't really hear about dogs turning on their owners like that. But when they do, I like to keep it so I can uh, let other brothers know, you know, when it does happen. Now, I did hear voodoo make man biters. I heard that one time. Or right, when brothers talk about them voodoo dogs. Now, underdog, the one that you say almost killed you, was that dog uh, a great dog before that incident happened? The Voodoo and Midnight Cowboy. What are the Midnight Cowboy dogs known for? Smartness, gameness, uh, uh, what, you know? Oh, turn on your stop. Oh. So you saying it was a good cross? The voodoo and the midnight cowboy. Salute the brother Samurai Kennel in the building. Brother Samurai, yes, sir. Glad you stopped in tonight, bro. Glad you stopped in tonight. Let 
let's see what a brother scratch line say. Underdog, that's a MNC trait that was enhanced by Voodoo Cross. It runs rampant through that cross. So, so you gotta be careful with them voodoo dogs when it comes to inbreeding and stuff, then I guess. They probably probably throw you a lot of man biters up in there. Jay's Moonlight said, y'all better test them engines. Hey, I tell you what, I like to check my carburetors back in them days. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the only way, I, only way I know my carburetors right, like I told y'all brothers before, that bitch dripping water. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on that meal and that, and I got him at his peak, you know what I'm saying? And we, 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 maybe like two weeks out and that water dripping. Yeah. Them carburetors, boy. And, and you take him off that meal and he, and it don't take no more than five minutes and he back, he breathing hard, but he, 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 he recovered real fast. You know, you got them carburetors breathing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Them carburetors start getting clogged up on your ass back in them days. You'll know it. Yeah, yeah. Like Supreme Excellence said, they be getting in and out. The carburetors clog up. They be getting in and they be getting out fast. Yes, sir, man. Salute to all my brothers. Salute to my brother, J-Bo. We gonna, we gonna, uh, Resume the regular program next week. Like I said, um, this Saturday, tonight, I wasn't doing no show. That's why I was actually late. Because y'all know um, I start at 9 o'clock on the dot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I wasn't going to do no show, but I had a stretch. You know what I'm saying? I had to stretch one more time. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, can't ask that of my dogs if I ain't going to do it myself. Back in them days. You know what I'm saying? So I had to scratch, man. No. I'm about to go recuperate after the night. I got I'm I'm I'm, I'm a wounded dog. I gotta go recuperate for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Hey, even when you got an ace, you gotta let them build up. You gotta let them get his shit together. SBO say you gotta put them on that dyno to see how that horsepower. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey, SBO, my dyno back in my days. Was my damn dog trotter? That motherfucker had damn all the little, the little, the little dings and dings on it. I threw that bitch up there. I ain't never really used the damn um, the speed of my thing, you know. But everything else, I threw that joke up there. Boop. You know what I'm saying? Check him, let him run or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell y'all the honest truth. I ain't. I won one damn with that dog trotter shit. My 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 conditioning program went down. You know what I'm saying? It it went up because it's laziness. The laziness say you can sit there in front of the dog trotter. You know what I'm saying? You can sit there in front of the dog trotter and let that dog work. And that dog working a good a good treadmill. But I can honestly tell the difference between road work and treadmill work. You know what I'm saying? I can honestly tell the difference. You know, it's just who really wants to get out there and put road work in, man. You know, who wants to do it? But shit, at the end of the day, brothers would have been in shape. When you get finished your road work, you're going to be in just as much shape as the dog was. So that did help you out on that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I see brothers online looking for that Big John stuff. Shit. Where y'all been looking for it at? You, you ain't got to ask nobody where to look for it from. Same place you've been getting it from. You just got to figure out how to get it. I can't tell you everything. Shit. Like I told them brothers a year ago, when, when, when brothers had misfortune, boy, the brothers were jumping up with their hands up. Hey! I got a big John. I got a big John. I got a little John. I got a split in. I got a damn rattler. I got a this. I got a that. Come breathe with it. Come breathe with it. Come on. Come on. I told y'all boys, man. We got that yellow shit in the dirt over here. Well, you knocking my fam. Shit. 
bulldogging ain't a hobby. It's a way of life. Like I tell you, man, a lot of them boys have been screaming that yellow shit. They pop up only when they got puppies. I'm still waiting on these brothers. And I ain't talking about my brothers in the chat, no. I ain't talking about none of y'all. Because when I start talking, I start getting in my, my in my ways. I start talking stuff. I don't want none of my brothers in the chat to think I'm talking about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of brothers, you know, that it's that fake, that fake support love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, laugh in your face love. You know what I'm saying? What I call it. At the end of the day. And like I say, PBK got to be PBK. Give it to your fair and uncut, raw and unbiased. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, salute to all my folk that's in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to hit that like button. See what my brother's talking about on him, man. Hunt down, man. I ain't going to lie to you, fam. I say it's a mellow yellow mama before I sell a daughter. And just because I got more, I got more um, adapted to a hook to her, you know. I didn't raise the mama as a puppy, but I didn't raise her up and I done got, you know, more adapted to her. So I'll sell you the mama if I was to get into selling it, you know what I'm saying, before I sell her. Mama still good and young, you know what I'm saying. Uh, shit. Like I tell y'all boys, I'm on a mission, man. I'm on a mission to help my brothers with these dogs. At the end of the day, uh, I got to keep one thing in mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I never was a hunted dog man. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be a hunted dog man right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to help my brothers. So at the end of the day, I'm going to have to leave behind this computer and hit these streets. You know what I'm saying? Get out here and put some footwork in. Because a lot of brothers ain't going to put this footwork in. I ain't talking about putting footwork in the uh, meat dog legends. I'm talking about putting footwork into these damn lawmakers uh, uh um um meetings and all type of stuff like that you know what i'm saying when brothers get crossed up the wrong way showing up to show my support to help these brothers you know what i'm saying to show my support Yes, sir, man. Now, now, brother Lewis Cipher asked Scratch Line, excuse me for buttoning y'all boys' business, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, what about the Corona Barracuda Cross? I, I would like to see that too, my brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause I, I like the way Corona look. I ain't gonna lie. He looked like a damn made dog, just black, you know? So I like Corona. And when you look at Corona pedigree, one thing I will say, you see dogs that you recognize. You know what I'm saying? For my brothers who like the recognizable pets. And I will say, we, we Corona dogs ain't really got no reputation for being no 45-minute dogs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really got no bad reputation about that. Let me see here, man. Now, brother Street Rossi, brother Street Rossi say, uh, "PBK any experience with the snooty blood?" Now, I had a homeboy that had a snooty dog that was real close snooty bred. Sambo whipped his ass, but uh, I ain't never had none. Oh, matter of fact, I lied, I lied, I lied. Only way we had dealings with the snooty stuff, man, was through the damn Tom Garner stuff, through the Spike and through the uh, Chinaman stuff. I never, and my homeboy had a um. Uh, a dog that has some snooty stuff in it, but 
that was about it. I never really had no snooty stuff outside of the China man and uh, the spike stuff. Now I heard of the Jesse James though before. I ain't sure if that's the same one. Might might be a different one. I ain't sure. Let me check. I'm checking my my message because my brother sent me some pairs. I'm seeing what brother's talking about with these pairs, man. I ain't had a chance to check my messages. All right, hold up. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get my brother. Um, Brick Soldier, you out there? Snooty, good cross with a lot of blood. Yeah, I believe that Snooty a good cross with a lot of blood, bro. What I think, I think nobody really, um, nobody really lying bread that Snooty stuff to say, oh, I got a tight, tight Snooty, though. You know what I'm saying? Just the stuff that I seen with Snooty, it was just Snooty here, Snooty there. I would love to have, have something directly off Snooty. Hold up, man. I'm about to put this. I'm about to drop this link down up in there, man, because I said I was going to do it. Any of y'all brothers want to come up, say y'all peace or anything like that, man? Let me see here. Let me see here, my brother. Let's see, can I work this computer here? Underdog say you think them dogs really out spike going up pushing. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It ain't no telling these days, bro. Ain't no telling these days. We can sit up, we can get up here and say none of them dogs off spike, and all of them really off spike. And we can get up here and say they ain't off spike. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, it just you just have to go with it. go with your, your your own instinct, man, and hope you hope you get a good though. If they ain't all spike, they might be all big, John. <laughs> the boy said they got a few of them up there. They said they got a few big John dogs up there too. I guess that's what that's some red man dogs. We gonna keep our eyes open. We going to keep our eyes open. Brother Jay's Moonlight say he hit the snooty jackpot. You can't keep that no secret, Brother Jay's Moonlight. Yes, sir. Shit, man. Hey, I, I, I tell you what, it will be good to see some good breast snooty dogs to stop seeing the same old stuff because it's like everybody got either Jeep, either Yellow, either Red Boy, either uh, Eli. You know, it will be good to see some heavy, heavy snooty bread stuff. Underdogs said they look like his Red Boy stuff. Brother Street Rossi. No, I, I don't know that guy. I ain't gonna lie, man. Most of the dudes I know from the dog game from like the 90s. I don't know too many of the, the modern day dudes.
But I know some of them, though. I know some of them, because South Carolina a big state. It's parts of South Carolina and North Carolina and Georgia that ain't been explored yet. I'm talking about no male probably don't run but one time a damn male probably don't run but one time a damn uh, one or twice a week. Yes, sir, man. We are hour and 15 in. I didn't even think I was going to be up here 15 minutes. I ain't going to lie to y'all, brothers, man. You know, um, like I said, uh, I had a few things going on today. Last couple days. Was going to drop some shit for y'all at the beginning of the week. But, man, I had to come on out. Had to come on out. So, salute to my whole chat, man. Salute to my whole chat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to keep y'all here too long tonight, man. Just coming out just to check in with y'all fellas, man. Check in. Seattle 206, I see you, fam. Seattle 206 say people out in Texas love them some snooty. Shout out to my Texas boys with them snooty dogs out there, man. Brother Green T say bring Mellow Yellow to. I ain't gonna lie, man. I had a mom up for sale one time. I was gonna let her go for damn twenty five hundred, but then I took her back off the market. I only had her on the market for about three or four hours, and I took her back off the market. I ain't never even advertised it. But yeah, I'm a, I know for sure, like uh. If, no matter what dogs I ever get rid of, I'm going to keep JD, I'm going to keep Mellow Yellow, I'm going to keep Marino, and I'm going to keep Anime. The rest of them, I may keep them, I may not, ain't no telling. I come home pissed off, the whole damn yard got to go. Salute to Mr. 216. Yes, sir. Salute to you, my brother. Salute to you. Hey, man, I, I missed the fight. I think it's on right now. A little bullshit fight. Jake Paul and um, old Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz. Man, I've been trying. Hey, Sam Nate, I've been trying to get in touch with you. I've been looking on Facebook, trying to get your Facebook. I had some. I had some. Um. Some sports news to give you. I wanted to show you something. I, I don't see nobody with this with this right here on, on YouTube yet. This was exclusive. This was exclusive, and I had it. I wanted to give it to you before tonight. Something about Jake Paul and the Nate Diaz shit that I wanted to show you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I'll talk to you about it later or whatever, but it was something exclusive, man. I wanted to drop it in your damn in your message. But yeah, man, salute to all the dog channels. You know what I'm saying? All the brothers that be giving you that, that good dog talk. Brother Jess up in the building. Appreciate you coming out tonight, Brother Jess. Man, with my UK folk? I don't see my UK folk in here tonight, man. With your history of breeding Pelican Bay, what drove your vision for the traits you desire in your line? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. Back in my days, a dog that would scratch would make my hair stand up. You know what I'm saying? That was what it was all about to me. That, that just amazed me, man, back when I was young. This motherfucker won't stop. I'm talking about teenager now, not 20s, in my teens. You know, when you're in your teens, all that shit amazes you, you know? So that shit, you know, the traits far as, I like gameness, man. Even to this day, if you're talking about going out in the woods with a hog or 
some type of wild animal in the woods like that. I got to have a dog that's game, man. Uh, it, that's all what it's about. Even, even with these working dogs, that's what we breed. We breed. We want dogs as game. We don't want, we don't want uh, dogs that's got hard mouth. We want hard mouth and gameness. But if you ask any protection dog brother, which one he'd rather have, if he got to lose one, he going to tell you gameness. Because you don't want a dog you got to slap across the head and he break off running. That's a lack of gameness. In protection dog world, we want a dog that you can beat 55 times across the head and he going to stay there. A, a Belgian model while that's showing gameness. You know what I'm saying? He taking all that pain to stay there and give. It don't matter how hard he biting you. Just the just the uh psychological fact that you see a dog on your arm gonna make you shit in your clothes. You know what I'm saying? So gameness is something we breed in all breeds when it comes to uh working line dogs. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure the greyhounds they they go for the ones that's gamer, the ones that want to run all damn day. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I look for when I you know in my lines, bro. Gameness, one willing to work. One that want to work, one that want to come out. Uh, I don't like a lazy dog. Uh, I don't like a dog that damn won't bite after nothing. You know, a lot of dogs will bite stuff, but a lot of dogs we got to take and start them out when they're young. You know what I'm saying? I don't like a dog that just sit there on the chain and look at me. Look at me dumb as hell. Now, brother Seattle 206 did it say, did I ever do my homework on the Vols, dog? Champion Little John, dog. Now, when you, somebody, I remember y'all asked me about the Vols, or y'all was talking about the Vols, dog, a while back. That dog was uh, pretty much a pure yellow dog, right? When I looked at it, it was pretty much uh, a pure yellow dog. A uh, pure red boy Jocko stuff. I don't remember exactly how the pedigree looked, but I remember I did look at it. And when I looked at it, I seen nothing but, uh, I want to say uh, yellow dogs and red boy Jocko. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong though. I could be wrong, but I thought I seen yellow dogs in the back. I never ran that stuff though, man. You know that brother might be had them dogs in another area. The Turkish Congo brother Street Rossi said, "Do I think he could have gained a Turkish Congo competition?" Uh, I'm gonna tell you like this here, man. Me and my brothers crack jokes about that shit all the time. We say Mayday, Big John, and another one couldn't beat damn the Turkish Congo. That motherfucker gonna have the, I tell you what, it's about like trying to jump somebody, right? And everybody's scared to take that first lick. You can have three or four brothers want to jump a brother, but somebody got to take that first lick. You know what I'm saying? And if, if everybody's scared to take that first lick, shit, one, one brother hold on five brothers. That Turkish Congo, I think Mayday they can get them. And Sambo them can get them, but I think it's gonna have to be a whole bunch of it, it, at least three of them, maybe two. But only way it can be two, it gotta be two for show sure killers. Now, I know Bo was a killer. Now I know Big John was a killer, and for what I hear, Mayday was a killer. You know what I'm saying? I think the dog would have to be a killer. If the dog ain't a killer, don't put him on that shit because. They gonna curve them out. Them dogs will curve them out. If they curring out wolves and all that type of stuff, and and man, shit, you you kind of taking a dog outside his range. You know what I'm saying? You just want to really see something something fun, and the dog gets slung around all in the air and all kind of shit and wrestled to the ground and all that. Because at the end of the day, the pit ain't gonna be able to do that with that big dog. Now you talking about big seventy pound dogs like Mayday in them, you know? Maybe a couple of them. And you, they might get them then. Yeah, uh, Brother Green Team say the Vol stuff wasn't available for everybody. I believe that, bro. It's a lot of it's a lot of them lines that weren't available for everybody. But one we know that was was that damn Frisco shit, because I had that shit since way back in the days. And like I said, them boys was talking about that that uh. That Doc Holiday stuff, I never heard about the Doc Holiday dog with the Frisco, but I believe everything they say when they come to that because the Frisco dogs that we had back then didn't look like the Frisco dogs y'all boys get now. The Frisco dogs my homeboy had was straight motherfucking assassins. You know what I'm saying? Up until we got them yellow dogs, them Frisco, 
them Frisco dogs was running that shit. And it was Jet Black. Jet Black. You know what I'm saying? We had named ours. My partner named his Frisco. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they looked a little different back then. So I could believe they came off that Doc Holiday stuff. You know? I could believe that. Liquid Lucky, what you got going on for the night, bro? Let me see if I could tune in and see what see if them boys done them boys done got knocked out or anything, man. I ain't gonna tune in on my live. Them boys shut me down last time. They shut me down last time. I try to show y'all the fight. Dogo, oh, I think a Dogo or a Dog we call it a Dojo Argentina, or uh, a Mayday or Big John or Sambo or wipe through one of them shits. My opinion, just my opinion, they ain't big enough. They big, but they more Great Dane big. They like Great Dane big size. You know, Great Dane ain't no match for uh no no type of dog like that far as size wise. Now that Turkish dog y'all talking about, that motherfucker like the size of a bear. Salute the brother T Fry in the building. Yes, sir. He said he had a good voice. He said he had a uh, um, let's see, let me put it up on the screen for you, bro. I had a female off voice, little John Bread. That was a good bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salute the brother Fry in the building. Now that brother that had some good bulldogs, man. That brother that had. He can tell you about some good bulldogs. Yes, sir. Liquid Lucky. Salute to you, fam. Seattle 206 say the Chavis double trouble. Chavis sexy. I had something off of uh, the double trouble stuff. I, uh, I, or I seen something off the double trouble stuff, rather. Grand champion. Let's see what brother talking about up here. Let's see. Let's see. Grand champion Raya versus Welcome All Big John. Now, I'm just going to tell you the truth. They say Big John, everything in a matter of five or ten minutes, he was putting holes in lungs. So if Raya wasn't doing that, then I don't see Raya. That's why they say may they duck, duck and dodge for a while. Because they say may they, um, um, Big John didn't have to go as long as may they had to go. I'm just giving you stories, though. You know what I'm saying? For what I hear, Big John was a whole lot more powerful dog than Mayday was. Now, brother, brother Ben Brock to say, y'all ain't never seen a 30-pound bulldog on a 300-pound hog. Now, you're right now, Brother Ben. You're right about that. But only thing about the difference between a Turkish is like, you know how a pit bull bred to go? Them Turkish dogs bred to protect. So outside of that hog, that hog really only defending himself. Once you let him go, he going to haul ass. That Turkish, he going to see you coming from a half a mile away, and he going to meet, meet, meet you at the fight. You know what I'm saying? He gonna meet me there with the scratch. Now, uh, Brother Green Team say Ray was a killer and moved like a cat. Okay, bro. Okay. I can't knock that grand champion. You know, uh, that brother ain't get that title for nothing. If he's a grand champion, you know. They ain't get that title for now. Oh, so he was a heavy Eli, though. Oil a Jr. on the side, heavy on Eli. He probably has some mild on him. See, the thing about well, that Eli stuff would have had problems with Mayday and all them dogs like that and Big John and all them dogs. Them dogs had mouth without having the Eli stuff in it. So they were just game. 
A lot of people threw that Eli in it to get him out. I guess maybe they got his through the bolio stuff and the yellow stuff. And I ain't going to tell you no lie. The way people talk about Mayday, the way people talk about the offspring of yellow, people talk more about the offspring of yellow than they do of yellow. Every time you hear a yellow story, they say yellow what really all that. But yellow was a hell of a producer. Who they say were looking for Big John Green Team? I'm um, Grand Champion Raya. Big John was a big dog. He shouldn't have been hard to find. I'm, I'm gonna check him out though. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna ask some boys did they duck him. I'm gonna ask some boys did they duck him back in the days. I ain't gonna even look him up. I'm just gonna ask. Man, they say Ray. They say Ray. Um, made Big John look like a damn Siamese cat. Nah, I'm just fucking around. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hey, man, when it come to yellow, man, we're going to really be lost in the dark when it come to yellow. Because it ain't no damn telling what the hell David Tech was really doing with that damn dog. We're going to have conspiracies for the next 50 years off yellow. We're going to pop up. Because they say, listen here, they say Toe Jam... Crossroad told you I'm what really off yellow. They say he was off AAA. Now, I can show y'all a breeding with Toe Jam, ain't got a brindle dog in his pedigree, bred back to a daughter of yellow, and had a brindle puppy named Crossroads Mudslide. Go to Crossroads Mudslide and look at that pedigree. Now, it was supposed to be a brindle dog in that pedigree. But see, that supports the conspiracy theory that Toe Jam is really off AAA. But hey, we're going to have the conspiracies on Yellow Damn Man for so damn long. You know, one thing I can't say about Garner, at least he is still producing some great dogs. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's still keeping up with his traits and he still knows what's what for the modern day dog man to keep the modern day dog man happy. Oh yeah, green team. You talk about uh yellow brother um junior Gaines Jr., the Brindle dog. Yeah, they did say he was a they say he was a hell of a dog, no. They say he was a hell of a dog. Hey man, hey, hey uh now the Japanese um street rocks say the Japanese torso. Do I think Bo would have got them? Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Some of them dogs Bo wouldn't have beat Bo just like the average pit bull. You know what I'm saying? I just talked about my dog, man, because he was kicking ass back then. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, like that. But far as like them dogs like that, like them uh, them Japanese dogs and them big ass 250 pound dogs and stuff like that. Yeah, he would have got them if he would have got them down. But you know, I ain't gonna even sit here and sugarcoat it. Bull, Mayday, Yellow, none of them dogs would have beat them damn dogs we talk about right now, unless they got help. They have been and gave up. That big dog can hold yellow off long enough for yellow to damn stop. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That big ass Turkish dog y'all talking about? That shit will hold Eli off. That shit will hold yellow off. That shit will hold Jeep off. You know, them dogs just hold another. They bred for they bred for something else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, brother Green Team. Them dogs can throw Brindle, man. And one thing about it, man, like I say about the the Rottweiler dogs, you know, um, in my at least in my in that, in that Big John stuff, we ain't getting that black and brown stuff. But I can't say how the stuff they got, uh, the Red Devil or the Thug and all that is, cause I didn't run that stuff. I don't know how them boys was breeding it. You know what I'm saying? I just be looking at the pedigrees. But I do know Katie Marlow them had Bruno dogs back in the days. And like I said before, the Red Dogs back then had Bruno Red stripes in them. You know. They had the rental breast red um brindle red nose dogs. You know, and uh, uh, Marlo had the, the uh brown brindle dog, brown brindle red boy dogs, you know, so um that stuff can pop up, but 
imagine it popping up in the dogs like Triple A. So if Tat made any breedings and Triple A popped up, Brundle, that's okay because that's one, two, three years apart, you know. But we ain't talking about no 50 years. Now you popping up with a Brundle dog talking about this shit coming down off Triple A and Triple A in the damn 12th generation. And then you ain't got no lion breeding in it. I'm talking about no lion breeding, but you got yellow dogs, but the only way your brindle coming in is through triple A. Yeah, termite, termite was a uh old black brindle color. And the crazy part about it, they say termite only through black dogs most of the time, you know, when bred back to you know other termite dogs. So I guess he probably was, I asked y'all asked about the black prepotent dogs earlier. Termite probably was not one of the black prepotent dogs, you know. He probably was one of the black prepotents. Which dog you talking about, brother Seattle two hundred six? Which dog or the um? Which other other little giant dogs? You talking about um the Vols little giant? Yeah, they said uh they said Chavis will get rid of the black Jocko dogs, Green Tea. They say they say Chavis will get rid of the black ones. They said um. Yeah, Chavis to get rid of the black ones. Yep. They say that's how he got termite, right? Because he was a black dog. Hey, ain't no telling Ben Brock. Ben Brock said termite might be was an Eli dog. I tell you what, it wasn't no papers out like that back then, like how it is now. It wasn't nothing stopping no dog man in the dog game back then for saying your dog was off this and it wasn't. Not one single thing. See, these brothers today, we got all this paper. We can't lie as, lie as um, easy as them brothers did back then. Back in the late 80s, them brothers could have said their dogs off anything. If you knew how to read pedigrees, you could have sold anybody something, wrote that shit on a piece of paper and sold it to them. If you, if you knew how to talk that game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Green T said that's why the black brothers had the black dogs. Uh, yeah, that's what they say. I ain't sure. By the time I got in the game, Green Team, Termite had done establish his name already. Yellow had established his name already. And shit, you know, i tell you how my, my thing rolled out. You no, know, I came up with uh, the white boys. Shit. Brother Fry say, I seen Hammonds, alligator dogs on David Tent Yard. Some of them brindle dogs probably had some alligator in them. Hey, you ain't lying, bro. Alligator was popular in this area back in the days. The Hammonds alligator was popular. I sat down on the porch with Mr. Pecan Man. Me and Mr. Pecan Man sat on the porch and we talked. And he was showing me pictures of Champion Radar. He was showing me pictures of all his other dogs. And he said he started his yard with the alligator stuff. Then he switched it over. Or whatever. And uh he was just telling me that alligator stuff had heavy bite, heavy, heavy mouth, you know, and it was game back in the days. Brother Vernon Star, what it is, what it is, my brother. What's going on? Yes, sir, man. Just burning a, a couple L's tonight, man. Just burning a couple L's tonight. Like I said, man, for anybody just coming in, you know, this was an unprepared show. But like I said, I couldn't ask for my dogs to 
give me that last scratch back in the days if I ain't going to ask the same thing of myself. You know what I'm saying? Give my, my dog brothers one last scratch at night, you know, and, and recuperate for the week. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself together. Put a little bit of purple spray on you and rub some of that damn, um, rub some of that new stock up in there. Let that thing sit for a minute. Get right. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That new stock, that new stock, pretty some pretty good stuff, man. You know, I always, I always use back in the days. It was called some Happy Jack, the Happy Jack um, scarp that main scarp that main stuff. But then they start making it in the new stock bottle. That new stock, some pretty good stuff, man. You know, just for any kind of little scratch, you know, make your dog, uh, especially black dogs. You know, if y'all brothers got them black dogs. Just rub that new stock on them just, just for the fuck of it, like cocoa butter. Just, just massage it in the skin. And get you some, some stuff of vitamin, uh, what, vitamin E? Best TV say horse paste. Brother Fry say, all the old timers always believe the black dogs wasn't game. They would feel, they would feel them termites would so to be as a pet, but it was a good dog even to stop the chavers. Yeah, I believe that, brother Tim. I believe that. Selling them black dogs, they're thinking they're gonna be curves, they're thinking they ain't gonna be shit, and brothers grabbing them and taking them and, and making them into something. One man trash is always another man treasure. I'm gonna tell you that now, you know. One man trash is always another man treasure because it's somebody out there that, that is dying for a pit bull. I'm talking about he ain't never had one. He want one. He all oh, he had a boxer in pits or or some kind of other mixed breed dog in pit. He ain't never had a good game one. He ain't never had a good game one. And, and one of my brothers will be like, man, this dog here ain't shit. This dog done jumped the box and this and that. And you'll give him to that brother. And man, that brother will take that dog and next thing you know, two years down the line. Man, this brother done got that dog to a superstar over there on the other side of the country. You know what I'm saying? It just happened that way sometimes. Every now and then it happened that way, man. One man trash, another man treasure. You know? You think you shitting a brother? You think you giving a uh, giving a brother up? That's what, and this comes from modern day talk, too. You want to shit these brothers with these dogs? And, and little do you know, you might be thinking you shitting him, but you might be giving him a better dog than you got on your whole damn yard. Brother Jess say, brother Jess say he used MTG, MTG for the skin. Best TV say red nose and buck skin only. I feel you on that, Best TV. Now I like my red boy Jocko, but but I ain't quite quite that tight on the the color yet. Well, I only want them two colors. You know what I'm saying? But it just it just happened. That's the way that, that's the way my shit fall as far as the color wise, the buckskin and the red boy Jocko or the red nose. But you know, as long as they come out the color they're supposed to be, I don't too much care. I know it's a shortage of them brown dogs with the black mask compared to how it was back in the days. Them dogs that look like Mayday and Lou Kane them, they ain't they ain't quite as many of them as it used to be. If it was five thousand, if it was five thousand of them floating around America back in the the nineties, right now I give it a good fifteen hundred to two thousand. Even though we know it's more than that, you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying the the the, the amount that you see as far as pictures and stuff like that, you don't see the dogs that look like Big John Mayday um, and all their offspring. Them, them, them brown dogs, big brown dogs with the box faces. Old man say he like the Eli dogs with the red eyes. What color do the Eli dogs be, old man? Black, red, or what? Black color? I'm going to have to try some of that Vol stuff, man, out one day. See if I can win me a confirmation show. 
long as they got good confirmation, you know what I'm saying? Um, as long as they make uh athletic dogs, I don't want no damn. Well, I mean, it's the same yellow shit, so hell, I'm just try it out and see what it is. If somebody got something that's real bread, real tight one day. Okay, black with red eyes. Boy, I bet you that's a scary looking joker there. He better be able to scratch. Red eyes, he might be an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Legions, I ain't never heard of Turner Dogs. I ain't never heard of Turner Dogs. Turner dogs. But I want to say um I heard J Bo mention something about that before, maybe. He might be saying something about Turner Dogs before I want Hey, Vernon Starr say the only alligator dog he saw on David Tent Yard was the big ass Brindle 75 pound man eater that was on the trail close to Triple A and Lola D. What do you think Tent did with the alligator dog? Now that we know that Tent was crooked. I guess that's the one the brothers getting the black dogs off. Bro, Street Rider say, I know any dog men. I guess you trying to say dog men instead of dog men. Any dog men to buy pit bulls from the pit bull gazette if they did, how they turn out. Hey, when it comes to that pit bull gazette, I'm going to tell you like this here, man. All that is is an advertising product for all my brothers out there today. To advertise your dog without being, we have to worry about that damn sporting dog journal type shit. Them dogs in that gazette is them same damn dogs that us brothers get up here and talk about every damn day. You know what I'm saying? If you look in them gazettes, you know, um, only thing about the gazette is you don't actually have chance to actually see it. But the thing is, you can get in contact with the, the brother and he going to quite sure he's going to show you pictures or you can get in contact with him from Facebook and stuff like that. So me, myself, I look through the gazettes all the time. You know what I'm saying? If I see something that I like, I'm a damn sure going to grab it. I ain't going to, I'm not going to buy it from the gazette. Or I'm not going to call the brother from the gazette and straight order it right there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call the brother in the gazette and we're going to have conversation about the dog we're gonna show me pictures talk about the dog this and that and i maybe can see a video or two here and there then i'll buy it you know or either i go check his facebook out or whatever and see what kind of pictures he got up there the dogs or whatever and i go buy it you know um you know pretty much going straight off the book going straight off the book y'all brothers don't have to do that these days that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Go straight off a book and buy a dog. Y'all got too many outlets these days to go straight off a book. You know what I'm saying? You got Facebook, Instagram, this, that, this, that, all kind of shit. Not, not to mention online pairs. You know, online pairs, game dog database, sporting, uh, the game dog Bible, Pitbull Bible. Y'all got so many different, so many different outlets. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Vernon Star, you say the uh, your look. Oh, you might be answer, you might be answering the question of somebody else. Somebody else, you, you I might be jumping in another conversation. Let me stay the hell out y'all boys' conversation. I just jump down in the chat and I'll start reading the comments, and I was gonna answer a question for you, but I don't, you know. We all think about them Gaston dogs, man. I had I had a couple of them, but none of them that really I didn't have any as a grown dog. My shit died as a puppy. The one I told you I gave Parvo to. Remember I told you I gave one of my puppies Parvo by shooting him with an eight-way shot? 
Well, in case in case y'all brothers missed it, hell, I'm already out here now. I might as well tell you. Shoot my dogs eight way shots, and I forgot to mix mix the dang on shot, and I I just straight withdraw the liquid out of one side, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and went and shot it to the girl though. She died a day or two later. She's probably about six months old. Gaston female. I was gonna run it back into my walk stuff. She was a red nose bitch. I had her doing the same time. I had nitro, snake eyes, uh, uh, all them dogs. I had a homeboy that had some nice La Posse stuff, Vernon Star. I, I'm not real familiar with that La Posse stuff, but I had a homeboy that had some nice, some uh, some nice dogs off that stuff. Green team say Tat Sundance was a buck dog on his yard. He called him Red Devil. Oh shit, Green team. Man, you better stop that, Green team. You just throwing gas in the damn barrel, man. You know I already say something about them. Red Devil and them already throwing them rock waller dogs. Don't start that up, though. <laughs> I'll be down. Damn Green team. Tat Sundance. I'm going to have to investigate this now. Tat Sundance was a buck dog. That might damn say why they throwing off them Rockwaller dogs there. I tell you what, Tat screwed us up out here in the dog game, didn't he? He gave us a bunch of dogs and a bunch of pedigrees, and we out here with puzzles trying to figure out what the hell going on. Yes, sir. I'm just reading the comments, man. I ain't, I ain't going away on y'all, brother. I'm just reading the comments right here. No, no street rocks. I ain't never bought none now. Um, no, no matter what blood it was, I never bought any out of the magazines. You know, um, but I will buy some from the magazines. But I never buy them out. You know, but if I see any brothers with, you know, because I already had my dogs pretty much. I wasn't looking for nothing. But I mean, if I see I see some great looking dogs in there, like the brother got that dog Canelo in the um in the Gazette. Great looking dog. I love that dog, how that dog look. Uh it's a dog in the old one of the older gazettes named Sniper. See Seagull Sniper dog. That dog look good as hell. You know, um, I seen a lot of great dogs in them gazettes now. A lot of them. What I don't see in the gazettes though is a lot of my dogs we running from this side. You know, I, that, that made me think a lot of the dogs ain't ADBA registered. And that made me think a lot of the brothers with the uh, the Big John stuff don't really do too many confirmation shows. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't really see too many of them. When you look at them gazettes, you don't really see too much of that stuff in there. Now, Brother Green T say the old head say if you want that yellow stuff back in the, back in the days, they say go to... Uh, Burns and Cruz. Well, I'm gonna say it like this, brother Green Team. I'm gonna agree with you, and I'm gonna disagree with you. I'm gonna agree with you because two solidified dog men, brother Burns, brother Cruz. I'm gonna disagree with you because Cruz and Tant was partners. So, if, so if Tant had it, Cruz had it. Now, when it come to Burns. Burns ain't had no papers on his dog, period. But I ain't never, to this day, I ain't never heard Burns' be, name being involved in no crooked, crooked mess. You know, I ain't never heard nothing bad about Burns as far as him, you know, putting the black dogs on this or black dogs on that, you know. So, but I know Cruz, they say Cruz and Yellow, Cruz and Tent shared yellow. So um you can take that like that. If you can get a yellow dog from Cruz, you can get it from Tent there.
Freddie Mac took the real Red Devil because Tank used his champion Ghost Dog and sold him after he won his match. Lied about it. Long story short, there was a real Red Devil. <laughs> I'll be down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tan Cruz had different yards, though. The boy definitely had different yards. But see, we start talking about when them boys was kind of younger in their days, I think they did more. Cruz, Cruz was in this area more with Tan than was that. I think they did more. You know, maybe when they start getting older, it was just Cruz doing his thing and maybe Tan doing his thing. But Shit, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just know as a dog man, one of the things you don't want is people to be talking about 20 years down the line, you was there putting dogs on dogs and this and that and this and that. you rather for a person to say, oh, man, he got his ass whipped every damn day. Or he got beat every time he came out or his dogs weren't shit. At least you came to the, at least you came to the square with dogs that you say you had. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to damn trick people and all that other kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, these these modern day dog men, you know, uh, like I said, it's harder for y'all to trick people because you got to use the papers. And them brothers back then, they was pretty much controlling the narrative. You know what I'm saying? They was controlling the narrative. You know, um, it's just like if I'm starting my paper thing now, and all and nobody, we don't got no paper system, and I'm starting mine now, and y'all brothers want to damn just say your dogs off of this and dogs off of that, you know. It's going to be in the system, however y'all tell me it's in the system. In actuality, the dogs ain't bred nothing like that. But y'all, we all just friends and we all just people. And we started this system all at one time, this, this paper system, all at one time. So we're going to look out for each other. One back scratch the other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all send the money here. I'm going to make sure everybody dogs rest you. Nigga Reno dogs are good as long as you don't cross them out. I had some bad damn, I don't too much mess with the nigga Reno stuff. I had some bad experiences with them. Well, at least I didn't have them. We, we had some good experiences, but there was nigga Reno dogs we went to. I ain't see what I like. Prentice Car say, Cruz told me Tant used to get pups out of Penny, save a newspaper, and sell them as yellow dogs. I ain't gonna lie to you. I believe it. I believe it, man. You gotta look at it like this, man. You got a million dollar operation. No. You got a million dollar operation. That's why the brothers kept selling dogs off yellow for three years. You got a million dollar operation. Yellow die. Man, a lot of y'all brothers saying that y'all ain't going to do it, but right now today, yellow going to live for three more years to a lot of y'all brothers out there right now too. If you got a million dollar operation going on. If you got a million dollar operation, your yellow dog going to die for 20 years. You going to keep having a yellow dog if, if that's what they want. If they, no, they want the yellow shit. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, I got him. Yep. See, we talking about, about this hot dog. There's a lot of people that sent dogs to Burns to breed the hot dog, and he would stick a dog named Jake to the female because he couldn't handle the hot dog by himself. Damn. Now, I heard about that Jake dog. I did hear the name Jake before. I did hear Jake. Green T said, I would breed to Tom Jack instead of Hot Dog. I had a dog off Tom Jack before my, uh, my partner had it. He was a pretty good dog. He was he was, he was was pretty good dog. He was a back-end dog, a little bit bigger than Bodo. He was pretty pretty good dog. It's saying Honey Badger in the house. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. What it is for the night, man, what it is. Hey, but I think I would have bred a Tom Jack too, uh, Green Team. 
Still a hot dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Best TV say tat with a solar apple to a hot dog. I mean, to a peanut. To get a lawyer. Hey, I tell you what. Hot dog was a savage. Now, hot dog was a savage, but was hot dog off big head? Because that go back to that old story about that shit. Tant was just a cricket. Tant was just cricket, man. Because he ain't had no business putting that rubber band on that man dog nuts. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no business doing that. You know what a brother do? To, one of y'all brothers will kill a brother the day if they do that to y'all dog. Put a rubber band on his nuts so his nuts can fall off. Now, if that ain't a dirty dog, man, that ain't a dirty dog, man. That's how deep that breeding shit was back in the days, man. That shit was deep. I tried to get an interview with Tat, man. I told y'all, man, I tried to get him up there. He ain't hit me back yet. Humdinger produced some good stuff too. But we beat that humdinger shit. We beat that humdinger stuff with uh, a dog coming directly off Big John and Miss Kitty. That's same breeding like Yellow John. Spray the same breeding like Yellow John. And I want to say um uh Crazy Eyes, maybe. Big John and Miss Kitty. Not the same little, but the same breeding. We took a dog off that and beat that humdinger shit back in the days. Hey, Brother Star, hit me up with the paperwork to, uh, tomorrow, man. Because, you know, I'm up here by myself. I can't really work everything right now unless you could drop it in the chat. If you could drop it in the chat, we'd love to check it out. Um, I can't really work everything right now because I wasn't real prepared for the night. And I'm just going off the fly. You know what I'm saying? Trying to scratch. Trying to scratch with my legs behind my back. Hey, salute to my brother. Say a lot of them old timers from Fr South Carolina was shady back in the days. Say he got some story. He could tell y'all some stories that'll make your head spin. You remember Beetlejuice now? Y'all remember Beetlejuice? How his head was spinning? <laughs> Say you could tell y'all some stories make your head spin, man. <laughs> hey, woo! -wee. I hear you on that, my brother. Yes, sir. Man, that's crazy, man. It's crazy that a man that put a rubber band on the dog nuts and y'all supposed to be homeboys. You know what I'm saying? That's like me, uh, 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 my boy Nitty, my boy City Boy and all us. And I go, I take the damn dog and put him on damn um, City Boy dog nuts. Because me and him get mad about something. I put a dog on his dog nuts. Man, that shit crazy, man. That shit crazy, man. That's when you know a dog, man. If he did that shit to Mr. Burns, what the hell you think he think of you? You got to be honest with yourself now. If Ted did that to Mr. Burns, what the hell you think he did? He cared about all your brothers that spent that dollar with him. Hey, you right, Brother Fry. Any, any, have anybody ever wondered why all Mr. Burns' dogs look different than everybody else's yellow dogs. Why Mr. Burns' dogs look different than everybody else's yellow dogs? You right about that, bro. Nobody don't really pay that no attention. And when you say the dogs had joint problems and it went sterile, you was talking about the Burns dogs or the yellow dogs? I did have a couple of sterile ones back in the days.
Brother Street Riser say, what ways people cheat back in the days in the square? Well, you know you got to keep your, keep your eyes on the hands because the hand is quicker than the eyes. You got to keep your eyes on the hands in that corner back in the days because what they'll do, they hold their shoulders, they hold them up off the ground just a tad bit. Not, their feet just be on the ground barely. And then they kind of, the way they, they turn their fingers, the way it's, it's making their shoulders roll forward. And it's pushing the dog. You got to just, you're supposed to just release your hands from the dog chest. Pull your hands straight out from the dog chest. But if you don't, if you don't um, pay attention, some people will flick their shit forward. I never ran into nobody with all that damn rubbing shit, man. I'm glad to say that. I, I was fucking with dog men who at least wanted to see if they had a good bulldog that day. I never bumped into the rubbers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they say Burns had the real stock. I can believe that, man. I can believe that. You know, because like I said, we we haven't heard any bad stories about Mr. Burns like we heard about Tent. You know what I'm saying? And if we got to go like the, the go deep, deep to find brothers who really, really know Mr. Burns, that means we dig it too deep. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to dig that deep with Tent. This shit just pop out there to us. Pop out there to us. Slap us in the face. You know, it got to be some type of truth to that shit Tat was doing. Brother Vernon Starr say he his first Red Boy Jocko was of grand champion John Boy back in the 80s. Always had his faith in that line. His partner had the Nigarino dogs. A lot more cold dogs and cur dogs. Hey, 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 uh, Vernon, you, you got your rocks off on your partner, didn't it? I bet you was shining like a motherfucker back then with that damn that dog, them dogs off that John Boy shit. Yeah, I think that Stumpy stuff was good too, man. I think that Stumpy stuff was good too. It's just sad that Mr. Burns, you know, and Mr. Chavis, you know, didn't really get the chance to, to, uh, to get into like the, the early 2000s with their dogs as far as breeding and stuff like that. Now, only thing I can say about Cruz, shout out to Brother Cruz out there. You know what I'm saying? Great dog, man. Like I said before, C Cruz then put plenty of feet down in Conway, South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Cruz Rocky came from Conway, South Carolina. Cruz Rocky came. If I got enough damn video footage of my damn phone, I can walk from my house to where Cruz Rocky was born at. But it's going to take me a while. You know what I'm saying? Y'all brothers got to donate about a couple hundred dollars. I got to go live. Y'all got to donate that shit to the cash app. But that bitch go straight to me. You know what I'm saying? If I walk, it's going to be about five miles. Five miles walking. And the car is about four or five traffic lights. You know what I'm saying? But that's where Cruz Rocket came from. So Cruz a, a good dog man. But I, I got to keep saying this. When I was real active in the game, the Cruz dogs wasn't. The ones I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Cruz was in that era with, with Tant. And then that era when I came in, Cruz kind of lost touch of what was going on. As far as the, the more modern day yellow dogs. But Cruz got great dogs. My, my partner had a great dog off Cruz not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Great dogs. And I think Cruz going to stay true to the breed. I think Cruz ain't going to lie to you the way Tant, Tant did. Yeah, Burns, I always, if, if anybody that I seen that had dogs coming off that Burns stuff, man, I ain't never heard nobody complain about that shit. Burns, Stumpy, Burns, um, Hot Dog, Burns, Tom Jack, all that stuff Burns had was pretty good from what I hear. And if you look at everybody pedigrees, everybody was going back and getting that burn stuff back then. Salute to the chat, man. Salute to the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Like I always tell y'all brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Which one you, you talking to me, Vernon Star? Or are you talking to somebody else? No. Cruz Rocket was great because of Cottenham Sheba. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I had some stuff off of that Cottenham Sheba stuff. That I ain't gonna lie. That was one of the best bitches. I think she should be recognized like Honey Bunch. You know what I'm saying? Cottenham Sheba is the more modern because she was born after Honey Bunch. You know what I'm saying? But to me, she one of the females that should be recognized. You know what I'm saying? Cruz or Mr. Mims, Cruz, myself, I think Cruz had the better dogs. You know, both of them boys, me, in the same bracket. They, they dogs wasn't in the fast lane in the, in, when I was out there heavy in the, in the wild, wild west. You know, them wasn't the dogs we was looking for. You know, we was looking for the Bailey's bingo shit, um, the Red Boy stuff, but Mims stuff wasn't the stuff that we was running back then. Uh, the Cruz stuff wasn't the stuff Cruz, I just start seeing Cruz pedigrees pop back up. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, they was out back in the 90s and the 80s and all that, but them shits disappeared in the early 2000s. You know, I know I know the brother had his dogs and all that, but far as people popping up in the shows and all that shit. The butcher boy dog you was talking about that cruise rocky brother that that, that motherfucker was hitting uh Brian, he was pretty good though. Green team say Mim had more selection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. You're right about that. Mims, Mims had more dogs, but I think. Cruise dogs were more battle ready. No, no, a green team. I ain't heard the backstory on Sheba, but brother, brother in the chat right here probably know the backstory on him. You know. Oh, Cruz went clip. Uh, Brother Fry said Cruz went kennel blind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yellow termite. Yellow termite dogs and Jeep dogs. Yes, sir. We know he had got some great dogs then. Hey, Brother Street Rossi, I read your question. You don't. You're not going to find it back in my days. That's the that's the thing about it. Back in my days, if you didn't know somebody, you would have never popped up at a square. You know what I'm saying? It was, no way to, it was no way for you to even know what was going on. All you knew about was brothers, uh, these pit bulls, or these... Oh, let's, let's roll some pit bulls or something. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to know nothing about nothing if you're not connected to somebody. And back in my days, uh, it, once you say, say for instance, you was riding around and you you popped up at somebody's house. You weren't going to bring no, 20, no five, six people with you. He said, yo, yo, come back. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. And he only allows you to come see his, his shows. You know what I'm saying? So you never brought nobody back with you. You only you you know you was, you got connected with that man, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't I wouldn't advise you if you're not in the uh back in them days, you know, if you weren't connected to show up nowhere, because you never know if you damn pop up and that shit get raided, all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? You never know what kind of people you dealing with, you know. And, and and a dog show back in the days, I don't know about right now, but back in the days. You weren't going to be there if, if anybody didn't know you because there weren't that many people there. It's just plain out and simple. You know what I'm saying? 
it wasn't gonna be no such thing as you know you just finding that shit accidentally. Nowadays you'll find it accidentally, you know. You might damn like I say, you got 40 cars on the side of the road, you find it accidentally. What the hell we got going on? A funeral here, a cookout. We look over there and see the 40 cars, we don't see nobody, but all we see is woods. All we see is woods, we don't see nobody, no cookout, no party, no nothing going on. All we see is woods, 40 cars. Oh shit, business about to pick up, officer. We about we got something going on over here. Man, let's hear. This ain't back in the days, boy. Back in the days, that shit slid. You got away with that shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I remember one time we was in the woods one time, and we had a show going on in the woods, right? In the square. It wasn't a square square, but we was in a square. And the police came. The county police came in the woods. Everybody broke off running. Left the damn dogs right there. Uh, um, uh, I'm gonna tell you the story now. A puppy got caught. A puppy got caught. It took the puppy in. We had two more dogs that was in the box rolling. Now, them two dogs, they stopped fighting. They went they went in the woods, you know what I'm saying? We went back out there a little while later. We found one of them laying down, hiding over there in the cut. We found one of them hiding over there in the cut. And then we got the other one further down, you know, further down in the field. But then I'm going to tell you how the days was back in them days. Now, they knew that dog came from a dog fighting situation, but that dog was only in the dog pound with a damn ticket on it. We said uh, somebody took the dog and they did something with the dog or whatever. That dog was in the dog pound with a ticket on it. All we had to do was pay the ticket. We went back and picked the dog up later on that afternoon. But I'm just giving you an example of back then compared to now. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't care about that shit back then. As far as um, get your ass in trouble and all that shit compared to like now. Yeah, they say the Cotton Hams had some of the best Red Boy stuff, man. They say that. That's what they say now. J4 from North Carolina had Butcher Boy last. He got him from Mark Hedgepath from North Carolina. He was a two-timer. Oh, the Butcher Boy, though? Okay. Yeah. Does anybody have any art stock? Art stock. I don't know, man. I was looking. I don't know. I've seen a few people with some art dogs, but I don't know if they was heavy art or not. Let me see. We'll see it. Brother Seattle 206 say. What out you like to use with them dogs you have? I like, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, you know, just for my personal stock, my own personal stock, I'm running that damn, uh, you know, the big John stuff. Let me make sure I'm reading your question right. What out you like to use with them dogs you have, PBK? What do you mean? What, what are the lines I, I like to use? Now, I, I did a breeding with, um, Um, that female that um you had, brother Fry, that female that you had, that one that um um old um Baker Woods had that I bred in Little Country. Now that female, that I think that was a Jeep Eli female. She she threw off some good damn puppies. So them nigga Reno dogs, they throw off hot puppies, but what about when they get grown? How how is they, you know, when they get grown as far as their production wise? Hot puppies and get cold when they get grown. Now, one thing I will say about Mims. You ain't never heard nothing about his red boy dogs being off nothing else but the red boy stuff. You know, some of these dog men, you got to give them more credit than we give them because of the ones who out there fucking up the dog game. When you when you got brothers like Tant that's doing all that shit like he did, then you got to give brothers like Mims, Cruz, 
them brothers like that who did give you dogs, whether they were good or not, you know, whether they, they was, you know, subpar or the great dogs. At least they kept the right dogs to where brothers can breed them these days and still get red boy dogs. So you go buy Mims dogs 2023, you got a red boy dog. You know what I'm saying? You got a red boy dog. But you go buy a tent dog 2023, you might got one of them Turkish Congos. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. You might got a Turkish Congo. Salute the brother Ironhead in the building. Yes, sir. Lionhead. My fault, my brother. ODG Bulldogs in the building, for sure. Salute to the whole chat. The whole chat. My brother Hamson, the Lionhead. Let's see. Prentice Car. I ain't been strolling down the chat in a minute, my brothers. Give me a second. Like I said, next Saturday, we're going to be back on the regular routine. Brother Chris Harden in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother, brother, um, Prentice Car said, I got a pair of bread like that from Cruz last year. They're off George and Cherry. Now, we got my, my homeboy had one off of, uh, it might be had some of that cherry in it. And, and, uh, his shit was off Cherry and, uh, Cadillac. Yep. He died on a yard accident. Brother Burton Mitchell, brother Burton, uh, Bert, Bertrand Mitchell asked, "Do I have any dogs from uh, Louisiana?" Nope, I ain't never had no dogs down there, my brother. Shout out to the boys out there in Kansas, man. Shout out to the brother Nick Brown and Nick Bronson in the building. Yes, sir. The whole Kansas crew, man. Shout out to the whole Jacksonville house, man. Shout out to my folk, uh, Magnolia Kennels. Um, let me see. Uh, a uh, car, are you from Jacksonville too? If you from Jacksonville, shout out to you too. Jackson, the whole Jacksonville crew, man. All my people out there in Jacksonville ain't up a little five hour trip for me. Burn a couple L's, hit 95 South. I'll be in Jacksonville before I'll be on the other side of South Carolina. Them cruise dogs, that's what you talk about. You can't turn up young. The cruise dogs. Now, back in the days, a lot of brothers used to talk about, you know, some of that red boy Jocko stuff. You had to sit on it till it get two years old. Give it time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's pretty much any dog, though, you know. Oh, shit. Chair is a double bread gone tramp, red boy. I'm just fucking with your apprentice car. I'm just messing with you, dog. Shout out to everybody with that Tramp Red Boy stuff, man. Coming from off that Garner stuff, you know. I heard some good things about the dogs, you know what I'm saying? Heard good things about the dogs. That's the same thing I say about the Wild Side dogs, man. A lot of people say the wild side dogs, um, they wouldn't give much time out, man. That's the same thing I said. Same thing I said. Now, now, now Chris Harden said, how about the Hollins Red Boy dog? Now, 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 now Hollins, Hollins Julio was a motherfucker. I think Holland had a lot of good Red Boy stuff. You know, it just kind of Faded away back in the days. You know, you don't really see 
no new no new Holland stuff. I guess he died or whatever happened or but that stuff was pretty good back then, at least the stuff I seen. Man, just look at a Jeep Red Boy Cross from back in, let's say, 95. A Jeep Red Boy Cross compared to a Jeep Red Boy Cross right now. Something got to be different, man. Something got to be different. I don't know if it ain't no paper pedal or anything like that. It's just the caliber of dog you got was different. Green team say that going on that going on tra that going on tramp is that fake cotton ham dog, <laughs> and that might be some dark holiday shit, ain't it? Green team, that motherfucker that got so much sperm on Frisco, Frisco got them every dog in it. He got a hundred valves on Frisco in them, but really, he got a little bit of mayday, a little bit of red man, a little bit of spike, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all that shit Frisco. Yeah, just my opinion. Now, just just my opinion, and I'm a little younger than some of y'all brothers in the chat. You know what I'm saying? But just my opinion, I think the the the, the red boy dogs that I seen um, in my era, the uh, the Bailey's Bingo dog threw some great ones. Probably would have been some of the best some some of the best ones I seen. And then um, Katie Marlowe, them dogs threw some good ones. You know, you could put them first or Bailey's Bingo them second. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the Holland stuff. I never really had no cruise dogs from cruise back in the days. Lionhead, what, uh, what, uh, what you say you got? Coming down off Firm's Golden Boy. Oh, yeah. Time to tell, bro. Time to tell. Time will definitely tell when it comes to the Bulldogs, man. A lot of brothers don't got time, though. A lot of brothers don't got time. And so many times we look back at the dogs we ran through, even me. I look back at the dogs I ran through, man. I'm like, me and my home, between me and my homeboys, we like, man, in 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 early 2000s, man, if we'd have still had dogs coming down off them dogs, man, we'd have had the same damn dogs like Garner them had. The cotton ham dog, the spike dogs, the yellow dogs, the you know, we'd have had all the same dogs. But I mean, you you go through them. Time, time don't wait on no man. Brothers want to see champions at six months. Brothers won't let champions rest. I heard that name Golden Boy before, man. I heard that name Golden Boy. Hey, I want somebody to drop that damn Russian site for me in my chat. Not in the chat, in my messenger, in my Facebook messenger, man, with them damn uh, Tornado and Boogie Boy and all them on it. I got I want to check something out on there. Don't drop it in the chat. Drop it in my message on my Facebook if you remember that site. I forgot the name of that site. It's a Russian site. I seen Tornado on it. I seen some Boogie Boy on it. And I seen a couple more on it, but a lot of shit I ain't recognize. Dogs I ain't recognize. I be wanting to see them shits we, we be talking about, man. Jeep and all them dogs like that, man. Where the hell them brothers was at back in the day? I understand they had a secret society, but damn, man. So... Brother Chris Harden say, what happened to the Red Boy Snooty Hounds? Their percentages is low compared to back then. The hype, the Red Boy Jocko hype, Brother Chris Harden. A lot of boys try to go with that Red Boy Jocko, Red Boy Jocko, Snooty, and crossing that Snooty out. Now, I ain't going to lie now. 
brothers rep that tray maker. I hear a lot of people talking good about that tray maker. I hear a lot of people talking good about it. You know, but you know, we speaking all historical, we speaking all historical on um, historical things. I know that damn tray maker sent some shit around here that ain't do too good. Back in the days. But so did Big John. So did Little John. So did every damn dog lining out there. Every dog that sent some dogs out that wasn't good. Shit. Yeah, I think that snooty stuff in North Carolina, man. We need to find some North Carolina brothers that ain't been talking and, and get up here and tell us about that snooty stuff. Cause I know that snooty stuff in North Carolina heavy. Or was out there in North Carolina heavy. The boys probably know how to breed that shit and probably got that shit bred up the right way. Probably got that stuff saved up, stored up the right way. Shout out to all my North Carolina dog brothers, man. The 910. Yes, sir. Shout out to all my brothers in North Carolina from the top to the bottom from Greensboro. That's about a four-hour ride for a brother. You know what I'm saying? All the way to um just, just across that border. I smoke me an L and I'll be across that border before the L even get finished burning. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my dog brothers. You know, that's why I say I'm in South CAC, but I ain't in the part. A lot of y'all brothers in the middle of South CAC, on the bottom of South CAC, on the west side of South CAC. I'm on the east side of South CAC. Top of South CAC. Top East. Oh, shit. I done seen something in the chat. My brother Legions, my brother Legions <laughs> beat me down for this. Legions Fury 13. You know we got to get you, fam. We got to get you, bro. Legions say, hey, chat, don't beat me down for this, but I'm about to do a Red Boy Camelot Eli breeding just to see what I get. Do your damn thing, dog. Do your damn thing, man. I'm just fucking with you, dog. You know? I'm just messing with you, man. See what that thing make. See what that thing make. Only thing I say about it is, is if you can't give it no papers saying Camelot, then don't put no papers on it. That's the only thing I ask. You know what I'm saying? If you make that breeding and Camelot not a game line, then don't put game dogs on that. As long as you give it to a brother and say, boom, this is how I made that breeding right there. Hey, I mean, you might have some of the best dogs ever, fam, but what the fuck you up? If you have the best dogs ever, now you can't register them dogs. That's the only thing that'll mess you up with that breeding, fam. If you have a, a, a dog, I'm talking about an ace of all generations, you know. And I'm not sure if the Camelot dogs has got, you know, bona fide registered or ADBA registered or whatnot. But, you know, just my, I, I was thinking the Camelot dogs not ADBA registered. But if they ADBA register, shit, man, go ahead and do what you got to do, fam. See what you come out with. Shit. We be up here laughing today and, then, and, and, and crying tomorrow. You be over there with the good shit. Oh, yeah, Ham's a line here. That Bailey's bingo ain't nothing to rock with, boy. That Bailey's bingo the truth. And I ain't saying that just because of both. I done seen multiple Bailey's bingo dogs. You know what I'm saying? Multiple Bailey's bingo stuff. Making a dog taller by the Camelot dog. Brother Legion say making the dog taller. Hey, we talking about adding traits. That's what it's all about, man. Making your dog the way you want it. To what you see, to what's right. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to be the one to come out the pocket and say, pay that forfeit, pay that weight, or pay this, or pay that, or None of that. You know what I'm saying? So make that dog how you want it, fam. Now, my partner had a dog coming off a of rust buck. My partner had a dog coming off a of rust buck, and I think they still got some sperm off that stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, It, it was kind of the dog that we had was small. It wasn't directly off rust buck, but it was rust buck in like the second pedigree, I think it was.
down. Let's see here. I talked to a dude from Georgia a couple years ago and say Treymaker quit producing. And the new owner used Treymaker's son and registered the pups as Treymaker. Uh, that might be why the Treymaker dogs ain't doing the same thing. They never know. You never know. And that goes back to what I said this, this a few minutes ago, Brother Fry. When brothers get a good thing going with these dogs and the dog die, brothers don't tell brothers. They keep that good thing going. Russ Buck, Russ Buck getting all the money for, from us around here. Russ Buck die. Nobody know Green Team Russ Buck died. Anybody know Green Team Russ Buck died about now five years later? Green Team Russ, Green Team drained the system with Russ Buck. That motherfucker bred Russ Buck's son, Russ Buck grandson, Russ Buck nephew, and we still think Russ Buck living. You know, we still think Russ Buck living. A lot of them brothers did that, man. A lot of them brothers did it. You know. Yeah, I heard good stuff about Russ Buck, though, man. I heard good stuff, good stuff about him. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. One of these days. You know, y'all might hear me up here representing straight Eli lines. You might hear that. That's why I tell you, man. Shit, when it with me, it's about seeing something that make me say, I got to have it. I got to have it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, other than that, I'm just like them, just like the rest of them old schoolers. Living off of old school dreams. Shit. I don't think I know about the shit that's from back in the days. Shit. So, you know, all the new stuff, I can't really tell you about it. I can just give my opinions on stuff. Oh, yeah, Legions. Oh, that's the only thing we ask, see? We ain't going to kill you. We ain't going to beat you up for making that breeding, Legions, Fury 13. We're going to say salute to you for making that breeding. Only thing we ask if you can't get the papers right on it, just let a brother know and what kind of dog you get. Don't never say it's an Eli dog or a Frisco dog or a Jeep dog. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where the system gets screwed up. You know, and it could come back on you, bro. You know, you could sell somebody that dog. They take it off somewhere. And somehow or another, the same thing end up happening. And now you go buy a dog that you think was damn Eli dog and that's damn. One of them breedings you made off your damn breeding. <laughs> you know, so let's just try to make this bulldog game great. And go ahead and add them leg up in there, man. Go ahead and add them leg up in there. Salute the brother High Key Lee falling up in the building, man. Yes, sir, High Key Lee. Appreciate you, my brother. Yes, sir. Like I said, all my bulldogs, we'll be back on regular schedule program next Saturday. Uh, with brother J Bo up in the building with me. Um, you know, I, like I said before, I wasn't gonna do nothing tonight, but I end up jumping up in here, getting up in here, talking with y'all brothers. You know, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, you know, stay off the night. I'm glad I came up here and rock with y'all tonight, man. You know, it ain't even all about no money, no none of that. It's just about just talking about these dogs. You know, chilling. You know, you know, I do this. I do this for the, for the breed. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be honest with y'all brothers about certain things, though. Like, I'm really serious about helping brothers when it comes to these dogs, when it comes to uh, having brothers aware about certain things. But I'm not going to lie to you, man. I know by me going and, and keeping, it, keeping it truthful about Humane Society, me keeping it truthful about these other things, I know heat might come my way. You know what I'm saying? I know heat might come my way. But that's why I always say, I ain't gonna let that heat stop me from doing what's right. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can get that ID green team. Damn, my damn phone that went dead on me. Let me see if I can charge my phone up real quick.
Oh, yeah. I ain't going to lie to you, green team. I don't, me, myself, if I go looking for it, I'm not going to get a Tom Garner Red Boy dog myself because I'm from the area. You know, it'd be defeating the purpose for me to get it. You know, I kind of feel funny buying a dog from Garner Red Boy dog. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just me because where Red Boy come from, this area, I have to, you know, get from the folk who I know had it, like Cruz or the brothers on my side of town or some of them boys like that or Mims or somebody like that or, you know, some of them type of dogs. I, I just can't get it from Garner because I always saw Garner as an Eli man, Frisco man, all my days of dogging. You know, I just can't buy a Red Boy dog from him. That's coming off of the damn, uh, uh, what do you call it? Artificial insemination. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother green team. Yes, sir. I hear a lot of, I like hear a lot of people talking about that metal and stuff, too. I'm waiting on my phone to charge up, though, to see if I can get that, um, that number for you. I have to stroll back down and get that number. I might have to get you up here one day, green team, man. Shit. You a brother fry up there. Get some good dog talk. Collar. Collar was a pure red boy dog. That's a hell of a name for a dog, ain't it? Collar. Yes, sir, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to hit it. And if you ain't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, my brothers. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, man. I got some, I got some, some, I'm trying to put some, put together some things for y'all brothers, man, over the next couple weeks, man. And, and not just the same old stuff, you know. I'm, try, I'm trying to put together some things, and uh, you know, see how that see how that worked for us. Oh yeah, it ain't nothing like connecting the dots when it come to these dogs, man. That's why I say before. Man, back in the days, we didn't have this junk, man. Man, we had to go off of brothers getting shitted, brothers just knowing who you know, this and that, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But now, shit, man, y'all brothers got all kind of ways to figure out things about these brothers. Dose is my Dougie. So he keep hearing all the good dogs is international. All the good blood is international. Well, I, I, I wouldn't doubt that, my, my brother. I wouldn't doubt a lot of good dogs is international. But what I will say is, like I said before, because of the research, just because I, I did a little research, you go do it yourself. And, and just to say I ain't lying. A lot of these a lot of these places outside of the United States, laws are tougher than our laws. You know what I'm saying? We think United States laws are tough, but you go in some of these European countries, they can't even have a damn pit bull in the damn country. You know what I'm saying? They got a lie and say that's a, a Labrador and damn hunting dog or some other kind of shit. You know, now they got certain places that they got it at. You know, let's say certain parts of uh, Russia have it. But when I look up Russia online and all that, you know, they start saying like they got bans on pit bulls. You know, a lot of places got bans on pit bulls. You know, brothers sneaking it just like we sneaking it in these areas. Same way brothers sneaking it over here. They have to sneak it over there. But see, we think, oh, everybody can do it legal over there. Everybody can do it legal over there. Oh, yeah, laws are different overseas, Brother Bronson. Hey, Brother Bronson, now, that's my that's my thing for you right there. Because go check different the, the, the different countries, and, and you'll be surprised, my brother, 
how many of them countries got laws tighter than the United States? How many of them countries got laws tighter than the United States? I'm talking about some of your big countries, like them, them European countries especially, you know, your ship countries and stuff like that, them corona countries. I think they come from the, uh, I, don't, I ain't sure where they come from, Croatia or somewhere maybe. But they got wars and all kind of stuff going on over there. Them, a lot of them places, man, they can't really build all the same way. Then we say Mexico, Mexico bulldogging. But, you know, ask yourself, is the average Mexico bulldog man like us? When we say uh, the bulldog is built, the bulldog game is built on integrity. The bulldog game is built on honesty. The bulldog game is built on being a, a true dog man. A lot of them brothers over there, they're going to be true dog men. But hey, Mexico is what it is. Is 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 it is what it is over there. It's rough, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta look at it like that. You ain't gonna get the same freedom. You are gonna get freedom from the police, but can you actually the same way these brothers put a hundred thousand dollars on a dog, right, and then get a handler and and, and put a hundred thousand dollars on the dog and get a handler and put him in the box, knowing there's a hundred thousand dollars on that dog. Now that damn handler can't breathe. He about to catch an asthma attack just because that ain't his money that he about to lose. You know what I'm saying? Ain't his money. You know, in America, man, one thing I will say, these brothers know the, know the rules, they know the game, and they try to stand, stick on standards. You know what I'm saying? They try to stick to standards. Uh, you can't really say what's going on everywhere else, but I know great bulldogs come from overseas, man. Great bulldogs. And I know my European brothers believe in breeding quality working line dogs. You know what I'm saying? They, they believe in that shit. They don't believe in pedigrees. They believe in working dogs. Getting the job done. You know what I'm saying? I will say that. So, you know, only thing about getting a dog from overseas, man, the traffic, you got to pay so much to get it over here. You know what I'm saying? By the time you get the dog over here, you probably not pay so much money. Now you in that damn Chico Lopez range where you ain't want to even play with the dog no more. You don't want to even check the dog. You done spent about seven grand on the damn dog to get the dog over here. Brother Eduardo say Mexico is eager to take our money and burn them fantasies off our head. Off my head, really. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I tell you what, all that rolling they're doing in Mexico, they ain't master no bloodlines yet besides the Mexican Eli. They should have been that master, that red boy, that yellow, that eat, that Jeep, and that damn Eli, all that stuff. All that rolling they're doing on there, if they would have had that rolling, if we could roll like Mexico, we'd have had up to date red boy dogs. Up to date Jeep dogs, up to date yellow dogs. I'm talking about knowing what they're coming off of, you know? Knowing what they're coming off of. My brothers from Mexico ain't sent me no yellow stuff back yet. See, we can't really, uh, they say Chico dog shaky. We can't really go off with, you know, with that. You know, I'm going to tell you why we can't go off that, bro. Chico dogs too expensive. Chico dogs is about like the Corona dogs, about like the ship dogs and the rest of the dogs. There ain't enough of them out there to damn put to say they're doing this and doing that. Chico going off of what his dogs off of. The pedigrees his dogs coming down off of. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it ain't enough of them dogs scattered across America to say, oh, they're doing this and they sorry as hell. Are they good as hell? You know, you just got to get them and breed them and hope you come out with some good stuff. When you sell your dogs for 5000 and 10000 they're going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Brothers ain't going to get a chance to get them. Yes, sir. Brother Lionhead say salute to all the overseas people in the Pitbull family and breeding that, staying true to that bulldog thing, breeding that battle cross. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
They definitely gonna breed that battle cross. They gonna definitely breed that battle cross, man. But what I want to know is, out of all the dogs, right? Because the same way these laws was weak over here back in the days, these laws was weak in overseas back in the days. All the dogs and brothers came and bought from overseas. What happened to all the dogs? The Jeep dogs, the yellow dogs, the Eli dogs. You know why? Why? Why is Ship and Corolla and all the ones we really know about? What you know? What happened to the rest of the dogs? You know we heard about Boogie Boy and them, but. What happened to the rest of them? The boys was buying dogs like crazy from over here in the 90s and the 80s. I guess the wars and stuff probably probably messed it up too. The Vinny line from Mexico. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I did a show on that one time, man. A while back. The brothers from Mexico that started that, uh, that was out there bulldogging for show, man. Yes, sir. Those is my Dougie. Say he going to get him a CL dog. I might as well get a throw at the puppy. Shit. Go ahead and do it, man. Sky's the limit, fam. Sky's the limit. You know? Sky is the limit. Green green team say they died off without being bred. Hey, hey, I believe the dogs overseas died off without being bred too, green team. Without being bred and the wars. Because them boys have a lot of wars over there. You know, we don't have none of that. That's one thing that saved our dogs. Because we got peace on our soul. You know what I'm saying? The boys have bombings, all kind of shit. People come take the damn dogs. Yes, sir. Shout out to the Mexican kennels, man, that's using that red boy Jocko stuff. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, my Mexican Bulldogs be Bulldogs just like my U.S. Bulldogs and my damn my European Bulldogs. You know, we all in the same boat out here, man. When y'all come to America, I got y'all back when it come to motherfucking damn people treating us wrong with these Bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? I represent the, 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 the entire cash. You know what I'm saying? My Mexican brothers, my European and my American brother. Shit. Let me see what brother Eduardo was talking about. They don't go off pedigrees is what the next guy said. I say that here in the States, we fetish so much. Oh, man, you damn sure ain't lying, Eduardo. That's all we do is fantasize on the damn on the pedigrees. That's why I was saying about ship. Ship an excellent dog, throwing off great dogs. And like I said, if I had room, I'd throw, throw it on the yard. But we don't know none of them damn pedigrees and ship thing. And, and all reason, we don't holler at the brothers on here on American Soul when we see pedigrees that look like ship. It's because we don't recognize the dogs. Because we're looking for pedigrees and not the dog. We're looking for them fancy pedigrees in these dogs. Coming off of this, coming off of yellow, this and that, this and that. Even me, I do it sometimes. I look for fancy pedigrees and this and that. I ain't going to say it and say it like I don't do it too. But that's the American way. That's the shit we've been going through for the last 15, 20 years. Worrying about pets instead of the dough. I got to un-Americanize myself. Shit. But yeah, man, shout out to the whole chat, man. I appreciate y'all coming out tonight, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with us tonight. You know what I'm saying? We do a little three-hour show. Salute to all my folk in here, Brother Eduardo, Green Team, Chris Harden, Nick Bronson, Dosage, my Dougie, you know what I'm saying? Um, Brother Lionhead in the building. Let's see here. Brother Fry up in the building. Appreciate all that good info, Brother Fry tonight. Appreciate that good info, fam. Yes, sir. Brother Vernon Starr. Uh, 
Let's see. Legions. Shout out to Legions. Make that breathing happen, brother, with that Camelot. Hey, you might be telling a story about how that Camelot made the best dog ever. Go ahead and make that breathing if you're going to make it, fam. Yes, sir. Liquid Lucky, appreciate you coming out tonight, bro. Brother Cayman, appreciate you coming out tonight, man. Appreciate you coming out tonight. Prentice Carl, appreciate you, my brother. Salute to all y'all brothers, man. Y'all have a good night. Y'all stay safe out there. Stay legal out there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and remember, you know, no matter what we talk about, none of my brothers going to condone it, anything illegal. You know, we know all this shit is just historical purposes. Like I always say, we just some old motherfuckers that's just like living in the old days. Can't let the old days go. And there ain't nothing wrong with just talking about it. As long as we don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my bulldoggers from the United States to the, my, my folk over there in Europe. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good night. It just depends on what time zone you're in. Peace.